in this rivalry long enough to know not only the importance of it, what it means to the fans, but also what it means to everybody out there on the ice. You've played in this rivalry. You know the intensity. You know the fervor. But you also know the discipline that it takes to win a rivalry game like this. Honestly, this is this is this is this is the game you want to play. You know, sadly for me, I can play due to due to injury. But if you are a player, this is the game. This is the game you want to play. You get a you playing the the top team in the league. You playing the the team who you are the most rival with. And uh, you got a sold out building, so that's definitely one of the game to, to watch and you wanna be you wanna be part of. And it's the team that you're it's the team that you're chasing in the standings. Exactly, it's a number one team in a, in a division, and um, how I said, it's, this is the game to play and uh, the game to watch. Right, if it's not a game you can get up for, it's one of those things that Coach talks about when it's, you know, if you can't get up to play the Columbus River Dragons, it's kind of a what are you doing here kind of situation, right? I mean, it's just not about like, you know, the history is there, you know, right. like since the first game we played against each other, they, they got a few, few, few former Carolina Thunderbirds on the team, so it's about the rivalry, it's about the people watching this game this is this is the game this this is it this is this is this is the game and not only that we talked about it with coach and we kind of touched on it a bit there briefly as well this is an important game tonight and tomorrow night for carolina as we inch closer towards springtime when we go towards the race for home ice not just the race for home ice but first place in the division as well first place is not out of reach especially if you can get one if not two games head to head on columbus oh definitely definitely but for me, for me, I see it more not like a not like a first place game, but more like a send a message. You know, you playing two games. You know, like last time we had a, we had a great great games against them, but this is about sending the message. If you can can uh, win both both games, you are sending a message to the league. You are you are the team to beat, and this is the important for the confidence too. Not that a message wasn't sent the last time they came here, but they played a lot better in their home arena than they played here. So the key would be to kind of build off of the previous meeting between these two teams and emphasize how hard this place is to play in. Yeah, but definitely you can you can look back on the games. You know, you have to you, you have to live in the present. You know, you get a new games, you get a new opportunities, and uh, this is a huge game for both sides. And it's one of those games where you have to be zeroed in on every little detail, keep things simple, and not try and look ahead to the next shift, the next play. Make the play that's on your stick. Make the play that's in front of you, not the one that's coming up. I mean, if you play, uh, you know, like the top teams, you know, the, the hard games, you have to be very disciplined. You have to be focused on every single detail, and one mistake can cost you a game. One mistake, especially in a game like this, I think the team that stays out of the box the most is going to be the team that wins this hockey game. Exactly. You know, special special teams will be definitely, definitely an uh, important part of the game, and you definitely want to stay out of the box. Carolina's league-best penalty kill will be tested by one of the better power plays in the FPHL tonight when the time comes. We'll talk to Garrett Rutledge about that league best penalty kill and a lot more in our Coach's Corner interview. That's on WTOB 980 AM, 96.7 FM, and 1470 WWBG AM Greensboro. We're also live here on Thunderbirds TV. That's Peter Podachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. And if you heard it mentioned in the Coach's Show a couple of weeks ago, you've probably been waiting anxiously to meet him. There's a special someone who can name the entire roster, Peter. This kid's two years old. Can name the entire roster by heart. Hey, I can't even make an entire roster when we have you know, I don't I think either <laughs> of us can. This kid's already smarter than us. He's going to join us here in about 10 minutes' time from after words from our sponsors on WTOB or on Thunderbirds TV, and you're here from Coach Garrett Rutledge on WTOB. Stay glued to your seats. You're not going to want to miss what's coming up next here on the Honda Can Am and Winston Salem pregame show. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. 
The Road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four-motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at FlowVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. You can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. 
With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. At Novant Health, every day you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. A Cadillac is more than a statement. It's a celebration of self-expression and a declaration of your independence. So choose to be bold and choose to be exactly who you are. Visit Flow Cadillac today at 1400 South Stratford Road, Winston-Salem, or shop online at flowcadillac.com. Want to get in on the action? 
Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter Panachik will be back with us shortly. Jose and Gina Bahina, Colby Cook, our good man Jarek running social media, and uh, all our good technical team on hand tonight. Our buddy Jeremiah is about ready to go. Folks, he can name the entire Thunderbirds roster by heart. This kid's only two years old. He can name the entire roster by heart. Yeah. Say hey to everybody, Jeremiah. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. And now he's getting Say shy hey. about it. But I kid you not, can name the entire roster by heart. So Bryson McGee is going to translate. I promise it's the same. It's, I promise it's still English. Huh. Bryson McGee is going to translate yeah. the lineup. All right. Or we can give it to Jeremiah, one or the other. Either one, it don't matter. Good, help mommy read these names. No. All right, take okay, guys. So Jeremiah's gonna give it to Bryson, who's gonna translate. Yeah. All right, hey, hey tell, tell me the players' names, okay? You gonna do Jacob? Or Jacob? Cooper, you wanna do it? Jacob Schnapp's his favorite player, by the way. I don't know if I failed Butita. to mention that. Or John Butita. Or John Butita. Or as Peter calls him, John Boutita. He's gotten a little shy on us. He's, he's a little shy, but kid's a huge fan. We love him to death. Everybody in the flock loves him to death. Jeremiah, can we get a high five? Hey, give Brad a high give five. He got a puck. <laughs> I'll, I'll high five the puck. How about that? There we go. Fantastic. All right, we're going to take a timeout. We'll be back with more right after this on the Honda can of Winston-Salem pregame show. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher. Pushing further. Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with 4Motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at FlowVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. 
more peace of mind since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on Salem demand. Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Fanatic. I'm Brett Wiseman. We'll continue to break down this matchup as we get closer to puck drop. But very quickly, a couple of notes on the transaction sheet. Peter, former Thunderbird Cody Oaks, who was traded for Matthew Bazarin in Delaware. He signed with the Motor City Rockers, so he'll be reporting there shortly. Another former Thunderbird, Marvin Powell. Uh, congratulations, first of all, to him on uh, uh, his uh, upcoming birth of his first, first child. So he and his uh, special someone are very happy about that. Uh, but he's been released by the Mississippi Sea Wolves. Good news about that is he'll be more time, uh, a little bit more time at home. So, but Mar Marvin's a great guy. We love him. We're happy for him. Uh, Jackson Bond brought in by the Motor City Rockers as well. Another familiar name. And Tori McLean uh, coming to the Port Huron Prowlers. Uh, expect some other signings during the week as the Vermilion County Bobcats of the SPHL uh, ceased operations this week. There's a few players on that roster whose rights were still held by FPHL teams, so there's expected to be a dispersal draft of some kind. Those who aren't taken by SPHL teams will be open and available to teams here in the FPHL, so I'm sure everybody... It's going to be interesting to see how there's going to be definitely some moves. I think there's... Definitely some guy's going to stay in an SP, but definitely somebody's going to come to our league. Some moving pieces to come for sure on that note. That's Peter Panacic. I'm Brett Wiseman. Jose and Gina Bahina helping us out on the technical side, along with Colby Cook, Logan Allen, and our main man, Jarek. And Rick, the radio guy, holding things down in the WTOB radio studios. We'll take it for a spin around the FPHL when we come back. It's Thunderbirds Hockey. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health, expect remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in-arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Inside the Winston Salem Fairgrounds Annex, the pearly whites of that guy are Peter Panachik and my slightly less white teeth. I'm Brett Wiseman. So let's go for a spin around the FBHL now, Peter. Tonight, another busy night. Mississippi and Port Huron off last weekend. Back in action this weekend. Port Huron's got a cross-division test against the Binghamton Black Bears. That from McMoran Arena. That one is underway. Uh, 12 minutes into the first period, and that one is scoreless shots. 10-8 in favor of Port Huron. Hat, Danbury hat tricks are on the road up to the Watertown Arena to face the Wolves who were here last weekend. That game set to get going here uh, actually right now. They're about to drop the puck uh, on that one from Watertown Arena. Elmira in Delaware, they'll be doing battle from the Delaware Fairground Center Ice Arena as the Thunder look to get their first win in 28 straight games. It would be just their second win of the season. Motor City and Mississippi will get underway at 7.05 Biloxi time, 8.05 our time here in Winston-Salem. The inflatable tunnel is going up where the Thunderbirds will make their way out. The starters will make their way out as well, and we'll tell you about them right after this. It's Thunderbirds Hockey. 
always reaching higher. Sorry, we're having to go a bit shorter because of the... further. Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four-motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect stroke. Get inside the Winston Salem Fairgrounds Annex. It's another rivalry Friday night here between the Carolina Thunderbirds and the Columbus River Dragons as we get a look at the starting lineup for both sides. In net for Columbus, Brendan Colgan, uh, who had the shutout streak coming in here to Winston Salem last time out. Uh, he's back in net tonight for Columbus. 2.19 goals against average and a 924 save percentage. In front of him, Paul Frigio and let's see, 26. Adam Benelli on defense. Austin Day, Kirk Underwood and Alexander Jameev are the starting forwards for Columbus. And for Carolina, Boris Babic had the shutout Saturday night. Mario Cavallari had a win in the shootout on Friday night. A week later, Cavity's back in the pipes with a 3.24 goals against average and a 9.01 save percentage. What are you expecting from both goaltenders here tonight, Peter? I mean, uh, both sides, have, they got a great goaltending duo. So I'm expecting a lot of shots, a lot of goals, goalie saves, and a tight game. I, I, I'm with you. I'm expecting a lot of shots on goal. Tight game, tight on the shot counter as well, as even as both these teams are. Starting line for Carolina. Again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Top line's been humming lately. Gus Ford, Dawson Baker, and Josh Keplinger will be the top line for Carolina to start things out. Joe Kennedy and Danny Martin will be the starting defensive pairing in front of Mario Cavallari. Gus Ford, by the way, still leads the FPHL in points. He's up to now, Peter, 74 on the season. And it's only February. That's a lot. And we'll just leave it at that because there's nothing else to say. It's a factual statement. National Anthem coming up in just a moment. And then we'll drop the puck on the renewal of this rivalry, the fifth meeting of the season between the Thunderbirds and the Columbus River Dragons. That's Peter Panacek. I'm Brett Wiseman. Puck drop. And a Winston Salem between the Thunderbirds and the River Dragons coming up. Don't go anywhere. We're back right after this. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. 
say you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Podachik. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm Brett Wiseman. Colby Cook running our camera tonight on Thunderbirds TV. Jose Bahina pressing buttons and pulling levers on Thunderbirds TV. Rick O'Neill, the radio guy, handling that in the WTOB studios on the radio side of things. Gina Bahina running the video board in the arena. And Jarek Bryant operating Thunderbirds social media tonight. As there's our ceremonial puck drop. Thank you. 
the energy in this building, Peter, is palpable to say the least right now. Oh yeah, people are definitely excited for this game, and uh, I don't blame them. You got the two best team in the league, two two great rivals, and this is the, this is it. This is the game. The first 20 minutes of this one about to get underway. Let's play some hockey. Let's do that hockey. Here we go. Benelli off the draw. Control the head. Moved along and dumped in by Austin Doe. Controlled in the far corner now by Keplinger. Stretch pass hit Baker in the back. It's taken in the neutral zone by Frejo. Moved ahead to Underwood. Poked away by Ford. Back into the Columbus end of the ice in front of Brendan Colgan. Doe's pass is tipped for the moment. But taken now by Vanelli. Vanelli trying to advance this up the ice. He does. Gets it behind the Thunderbird net. And a battle for it is Jemayev with Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy wins the battle. Moves it over to Martin. Martin. Trying to work around Storjahan as they run into each other at the stanchion at the red line. Keplinger for Baker shoots and that hit a stick. Goes up high into the netting out of play. And we get a whistle just 45 seconds into the hockey game. That was a great position for Bakes. Um, set for us, it, was, it got blocked by the stick, but it was a great, great position there. I think that's going to be something, Peter, that, that could be important for a lot of the night for both sides is to get sticks and not just passing lanes but shooting lanes as well. It is definitely big when you block a shot, you know, it makes it easy for the goalie and... Loose John puck Lutita in front, and with shot. a shot, oh. another one that went wide, first one was blocked. Give me to step over you there, Peter. As butita has got it, far side corner pass is picked off and moved ahead. Lane King's got it, King moves it ahead. For Storjahan. Poked free by Pastuka, now taken in by King. King moves it over. Wrist shot going high glove on Cavallari, and King crashes into Cavallari as the shot deflected up and out of play. Not sure what all that was about. But no harm, no foul. Eighteen thirty-seven to go here in our opening frame. Wick line and Butita to take the draw. One by Columbus. Aldworth throws it around the wall. Wick line could not get to it. Krupp and Firth come together as Butita lays a man out in the corner. Going back out top. Petrantonio throws it across to Rogers, dangling above the dot. Petrantonio. Or excuse me, Rogers trying to go indirectly off the wall, picked off. Here comes Pastuka, dangling at center. Salak's able to stay on side. Pastuka will backhand this in deep. It's picked off, though, by Rogers. Peavy had a shot at that one, but Wickline made that difficult for him. Here's Petrantonio moving it ahead for Wickline. Wickline gets it into the zone. Moved around the wall, Aldworth. Kennedy. Boards up Aldworth in front of the doors. Moved out top. Here's a shot nice from block. Finelli. Yeah, blocked by Schnapp. Well done. It's very important when, when, when you stay in the position of the seek of the lane. So it's blocking shot is a big, big fact, big factor in this game. Moved around the wall, Justin Pringle over for Grabenikov, who plays it ahead for Joe Kennedy. And now a clean breakout and a three-on-two developing. Kennedy around Frejo tried to center that for Schnapp but it hits someone in front Frejo trying to break this back out over the stick of his opposite number Pringle here comes Kavayev Kavayev shoots that one stick to side by Cavallari Underwood moves it down low Doe on the backhand that one was blocked Kennedy and Underwood battle back of the goal here's Jemayev out top Vanelli shoots glove save Cavallari There was a collision over there on the corner, Peter. Here between Underwood and Kennedy. 16.57 to go, shots are 3-2 Columbus. 
Both teams still feeling each other out a bit here. The fifth meeting between these two this season. And even when you when two teams know each other as well as they oh, do, is this one picked off by Ford. Moves over for Baker, uh, who fanned on the shot and blew a tire. Picked off by Martin at center. He's got to wait for Baker to hop back in. He'll touch back up and head back on the forecheck, but it's moved out of the zone. Kelly over for Greco. Battling with Keplinger at the red line. Moved ahead for Storjahan. Storjahan delaying. Kelly shoots it short side. Cavallari stuffed it and covers it with the glove. Boy, Peter, it looked like Kelly had somebody wide open there back door, decided to shoot short side instead. It was, it was a good shot, but uh, very, very nice save by Mario. And as I, as and when, you get a, when you get a situation like that, sometimes goalie, they, they try to cheat and they expect the expect pass across the line. So sometimes there is a, there is a space open. Mario left a little bit uh, space there, but he was he he quickly covered it. Yeah, he so. stayed tied to the post. Sometimes yeah, you're right. Yeah. A lot of times goalies will kind of pop out on top yeah, of the crease. Yeah. So like, as a forward, it's, it's always important to, to you know have a heads up and uh, see what's what's goalie doing. Group on the backhand out top for Rogers. The right point out to the and center. And shot. Leaf Salak got that one with a stick. Cross ice again for Rogers. Trying to direct it through traffic. Wick line has it poke check free. Petrantonio slap pass to the right dot. Through traffic, Aldworth tipped wide. Salak hops on the loose puck. He's trying to stretch it ahead for Pastuka. Instead, he'll go for Kennedy to Pastuka. Pull back into the deep. Colgan plays it up along the wall. Pastuka gloves and settles this down and slap shots one high and wide. Wick line hit by Butsita. Drops it off for Rogers, who dangles around at center. Hits the red line and wires it in deep. Kennedy in a battle with Doe. Salak's in there as well. Salak's able to muscle it free for Pastuka. Trying to feed that over for Grabenikov, but Jemayev got a stick in the way. Vanelli drops it off for Underwood, who takes a whack from Schnapp and then another from Grabenikov. And Kennedy moves it ahead for Grabenikov, who drops it back for Schnapp. Shoots it into the zone. Bit mixed up there at the blue line as Jemayev brings it out into his own end. Here's Tucker Firth, he's wearing the face mask tonight after he had to get a number of stitches and some dental work done after last weekend and as he cross-checks the guy back at the play there on Underwood. As you could hear the official, or at least we could, telling him to move the puck there. Comes free, no harm, no foul out of that either side. Schnapp drops it off for Pringle. Pringle couldn't get a clean handle on it. Schnapp trying to lay into a hit, but LaBelle was able to sidestep it. Storjahan, poke free by Bioni. Firth, banks it off the wall. Schnapp, over the stick of Peavy. Greco back at his own end with it. Peavy tipped his stretch pass. Firth tipped another one, but here's Lane King. King trying to go cross crease for Storjahan, but he was tied up by Bioni. Storjahan out top. LaBelle, shot was blocked courageously by Baker. That stung him. Centered by Storjahan, poked out of the crease and wide. Peavy hops on the loose puck. Moves it around Kelly. Tripped up at center as both guys came together. It's inadvertent contact, so no call. Battle along the near side boards for it. Pringle trying to muscle it free. Cross it goes. LaBelle and blocked block again by second, Baker. Second block shot by Baker in one shift. Cross crease it comes. Sword on shoots. Cavallari got that with the stick. And it goes up and out of play. And give Dawson Baker ring 10 bells. Yeah, it's very painful when you get it like straight to the, to the side of the, the skate. So. And it'll take us to a timeout. Still scoreless here in Winston-Salem. Shots are 6-2 Columbus. But the scoreboard still reads goose eggs. We're back in 30 seconds. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. 
Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV with an athletic looking to Columbus, but we're still scoreless. That's Peter Panagic. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, some good chances for Columbus and a, a couple here and there for Carolina. But yeah, it's but so far, so far it's very, very careful on both sides. You know, both 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 teams they just waiting and it's trying to see what what's what's gonna happen. But Columbus, Columbus uh, have a more position, but uh, still first five minutes, so we got a lot of game, a lot of games left. Wick line on the draw, That's opposite nice. four yeah, is opposite his number, number. And now moved Safe. up and out by Keplinger off the glass. Rogers watched by four, dropped back for Petronzoniel. Petrantonio gets it deep in his own, and Schnapp again laying the body down. Kennedy moves it ahead. Keplinger able to poke it free out of the zone. Aldworth at center, picked off by Schnapp. Crew pops on the deflected puck. Petrantonio moves it to the left for Wickline. Off the stick of Aldworth. No, now muscles it around Martin, who hits the deck and can't get it out. Aldworth holds the line for the moment. Down low, Krupp. Shouldered by Martin. Aldworth, the muscle this free one on two. Hard work by him. Krupp along the wall, watched by two Thunderbirds. Moved down into the center of the ice and brought ahead now by Kennedy with numbers. Mm. Kennedy poke checked by Petrantonio. And now Columbus has numbers the other way. Three on two developing. Petrantonio moving into the slot, shoots off the side of the goal. A wind a Backhand pass over for Krupp, who will now send it all the way around. Jemayev will take the hit to make the play. Martin moves it ahead off the wall for Ford. Tipped by Frejo and now moved ahead for Jemayev, who will try and bank pass it to himself. Watched by Kennedy. Jemayev will get to it, but not for long. Kennedy shoulders him. Martin moves it ahead for Pinkowski, who starts the engine and chips it up the ice himself. Can't get it around Frejo. Take it to center by Peavy. Kravenikov trying to backhand that into the zone. Frejo moves it ahead. Doe kicks it into the zone. Cavallari ever so carefully will settle this down for Firth. Will backhand this over for Grabenikov. Moved ahead now for Pinkowski. Pinkowski backhand pass for Grabenikov was picked off, but Pringles able to move it ahead. Here's Peavy. Dangles around. Drops back for first. Ooh, shoots. Ooh, that was a big chance. Best chance of the game so far for Carolina, and I think Colgan was able to get a piece of it. And Jemayev just leveled Pinkowski without the puck. Nobody saw it, though. Frejo plays it around Vanelli. Moved ahead. Storjahan. Cross crease looking for King. Too far. King having it muscled free by Gravenikov for the moment, who then blocks a return feed for Kelly. And it's chiseled down low, moved in front, they score! It's Jacob Kelly, who had the shootout, or the overtime winner in the last meeting between these two teams. He puts home the first of the night for Columbus, and it's one to nothing. Well, with the way the shot counter looks right now, you knew, or you kind of had a feeling Columbus was going to get their fair share of chances and kind of knew in the back of your mind maybe they're going to put one home and they finally did. It seems like they've been the quicker team so far, Peter. So far they have a, they have a more position of the game for sure, but uh, it's still plenty of time, plenty, plenty of time left and we had a great chance you know, a couple of minutes before. Lots of hockey left as Greco couldn't lay a hit on Salak. Putita moves it ahead. Here's Pastuka fanning on that shot a bit as he couldn't settle the puck down cleanly. Picked off in the slot by Salak, but his shot was blocked by LaBelle. Moved to the opposite corner. King can't muscle it forward. Kennedy picks it off at center. Bioni back for Kennedy. D to D catch. Head for Pastuka. In the middle for Salak. Nice play. Salak shoots oh, and a stick man. save by Colgan. That was a great shot by Jan Salak. If it would be a couple inches higher, it would be in. It looked like he had room there high. Uh, no, he hit his pad uh, when the goalie slide on a, you know, like he did safe. It hit like the top, top of the pad. So yeah, it, it was one, two inches higher and it was in. It was a great shot by John. It looked like he might have been able to fit that between the pads and the glove. 
Yeah, yeah, this is the shot, you know, like a forward. I like to shoot, you know, you don't want to shoot like always like high, you know. Right. The most dangerous shot is like the one uh, Johnny shoot, you know, like a little bit, not too high, not too short, not too low. Pioni shoots one on goal and the save is made exactly 10 minutes to go. Halfway through our first period and we've reached another timeout. 1-0 Columbus is our score halfway through the first period. We're back in 30 seconds. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the... Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, Carolina, they've been hounded and frustrated a little bit, I think, in this first half of this first period by a tight-checking, well-defending Columbus team who was able to turn uh, a more handful of scoring chances into a goal here early on. Well, it, it still looks uh, a little careful on, uh, on both sides. You know, both, both teams, they, they don't try to do any mistakes. And... Uh, it's still a beginning, so we got a 50 minutes left, and hopefully, hopefully we can get one and uh, come back to the game. 10 minutes down, 50 we definitely, to go. We definitely need more shots on the net. That's for sure. Shots are 8-5 as this one comes out of the zone off the faceoff win. Bioni's got a double back for it. Kennedy trying to move this ahead. It should go for icing, and it will. It was 9:48 left in the first. Trying to hit, uh, to believe that was Butita there for the stretch pass. Wick line in the dot to take this opposite Keplinger. Keplinger wins it back for Kennedy. He'll bank it off the wall back of the goal for Bioni. Moved ahead for Ford. Who pokes it ahead off a deflection for Bioni. Taken away though. Petrantonio's pass is deflected and now picked off by Bioni, who has it poked around it by Krupp at a three-on-one. Krupp, Aldworth, trying to go back for that Krupp. That was a big, big, big uh, defensive play by, I, I don't know if it was... I think that Bioni, was Bioni that had, Bioni that had the crouch this, block this, right this there. This was a huge... And you got a three-on-one three on right situation, there. so this was a big, big defensive play by, uh, by our guys. Here's Krupp, trying to move it in the middle for Aldworth. He settles it down. High slot, wick line, touched over Krupp. Poked it on goal. Now shot it off the back of the goal on the backhand. Kennedy moves ahead for Keplinger. Tipped out to the red line. Rogers moved ahead for Krupp. He'll throw it back for Petrantonio who will start the engine. Petrantonio poked away by Ford nicely. Moved ahead by Butita. Butita trying to muscle his way through a couple of defenders. He's able to keep the play alive. Trying to chip it off the back wall. But Petrantonio read that and he'll flip it out. Martin and Jamea have come together for it. Martin on a bouncing puck. Whoa, nice pass right there for Ford. And the feed from Ford hit a skate. Has now first got it in his own end with eight and a half to go in the first. Firth back of the goal. Rips it around the wall. Pringle. And they will say he did get it in deep. That might have hit a Columbus stick first before it got his. As it's tipped into the zone now by the River Dragons. Moved ahead by Firth for Peavy. Martin out to center, Schnapp is able to get the red line and get this in deep. Frejo and Pringle come together back of the Columbus net. Frejo's got it, poked free by Peavy. Pringle hops on it far side corner but lost the handle on the puck. Move to the opposite side, Jamea. Firth makes a nice kick play to keep this in, or so we thought, and it's called offside. Crowd doesn't like it. Let's see what we can see on the replay here, Peter. It's 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 hard to say, you know, from the. It's hard to say from that angle. It may have. It may. It, I don't believe it came out when Firth kicked it to keep it in. I believe it came out when Schnapp played it. It was tough to tell, but it was right on the line. It was a 
Bang, bang, play. Kennedy will move it in. Goal stick down by Colgan. Greco. Moved ahead. Store Jahan now for King. Stretch pass ahead for Kelly. Kelly shoots. Cavallari got that with the pads. Kennedy's able to muscle it up and out. And Schnapp will whack this out to center. King moving through the neutral zone for Store Jahan. Trying to go back for King. That hit a stick. King. Watched by Kennedy, trying to leave it for Kelly. Picked off, here comes Peavy. Moved ahead for Schnapp. Schnapp drops it back for Benikoff. Here comes Victor. Skates around Greco. Victor shoots oh, it for the score! Victor for Benikoff! His first of the season! We're tied! Oh, baby! How do you like that? The soon-to-be father just put home his first of the season from a seemingly impossible angle to tie the game at one. Wow. That's why you throw pucks on the net, Brad. You never know it can happen. what can happen. You know, it always can end up in the net, and uh, Colgan wasn't ready for it, and it ended up in. I don't think there's a soul here that didn't want to see Viktor Gravenikov score a goal. <laughs> this is huge for us. This is huge. This, is, this, this can give us an impulse to, to come back to the game and uh, play hard, play fast. And Seven minutes to go here. The first shots are 10-5 Columbus. Or 10-6 Columbus. But we're tied at one. Bioni moves it ahead for Salak. As now Carolina's got some momentum after that. Pastuka can't hold it in. Ford and Salak have to touch back up. Whip line muscles it free. Allworth moves it ahead for Krupp. Krupp throws this on goal. Cavalieri sticks it to the opposite side. Kicked out top. Rogers trying to look for a deflection in front. Krupp is leveled by first as the puck comes free. Moved ahead for Ford. He'll use his speed to create some space here as it's poked out to center. Firth moves it ahead. Ford trying to feather that through a set of skates. Wick line on his backhand. Now chipped up and out of the zone, but picked off by Baker nicely off the kick plate. And offside is the call. Six eleven to go here in our first period. And ironically, shots are 11-6 in favor of Columbus. <laughs> That's funny. 1-1, 6-11, 6-11. A lot of ones on the board. Frejo. Hit by Baker. And this one's backhanded out by LaBelle. Underwood able to get this in deep at the red line. Vanelli comes to it near side. He had Martin in a battle for it. Keplinger tried to move it ahead. Jamayev somehow kept that puck in the zone. And he's on it. Moved over. Underwood centering pass looking for Doe. Instead it comes to Vanelli. Shoots it indirectly wide off the goal. Kennedy hops on a loose puck. And now off the stick of Jemayev. Butita couldn't get it in. This is through the legs of Jemayev. He'll hop on it. Martin will poke it free. Back of the goal with five and a half to go here in the first. Kennedy for Baker. Storjahan has to double back out into the neutral zone. Watched by Keplinger trying to move it ahead for Vanelli. He'll get it in deep. Cavalieri will wait for it around the kick plate and move it for Kennedy. Kennedy. Backhands is out into the neutral zone. Kelly hops on it for Columbus. Moved over for Martin, who takes a hit from Greco. King in the middle for Storjahan. Tips it into the zone. Picked up by Kennedy and tipped up and out of play. And a glove save made on the bench by Christian Pavlos. <laughs> with under five minutes to go. That was very nonchalant by Christian Pavlos. Nice glove save. I agree. <laughs> Under five minutes to go here in the first period. Whole new ball game in this one. Shots are 11-6, but Carolina and Columbus are tied up 1-1. We're back in 30 seconds. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan 
designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. That seemingly uh, what kind of goal? A galvanizing What's goal. That? What's that mean? G- gives you momentum. It's a momentum giver, I guess. Okay, I never heard say. it before. I gotta been breaking out the thesaurus on you while you're Gal- up here. Ga- how do you say that? Galvanizing. Galvanizing. He can, he can pronounce that, but he can't pronounce mammoth. Mammoth. Elmira Mammoth. Mammoth. Elmira Mammoth. He's having way too much fun <laughs> with that. Way too much fun. That's how you, that's how you pronounce it, though. That's how you pronounce it. It's the only one right way. That's what I was hoping you would say after that. <laughs> Firth moves this ahead. Here's Blake Peavy. Wrist shot sticked up and out of play by Brendan Colgan. That was a great pass by uh, Tucker Firth. Yeah, right off the draw there at center. Yeah, Blake was right open in the middle. With 4.49 to go here in our first period. PB to take the draw. One of the better guys on the team to do it. He's able to win it. Now Greco. The best on the team. LaBelle's got it back of the goal on top of the Budweiser bow tie. Move to his left for Greco. Who will move this ahead for Kelly. Kelly tried to chip this around Firth. Grabenikoff recovers and gets it out into the neutral zone. LaBelle moving back. Lane King banks this off the boards. LaBelle will have to come to it. Kelly can't get a hold of it. Grabenikoff will shoot it into the zone. LaBelle back of the goal ahead for Wickline right on his tape. Wickline's watched by Pringle. He'll double back. Move it. To the right for LaBelle. Schnapp tipped that pass. It'll come all the way down with four minutes to go here in the first period. Moved all the way around the wall. Grabenikov trying to poke it free for Pringle. Now it comes to Peavy. Tried to drop that back. Grabenikov recovers. Banks it for Peavy. Peavy across the line. Onside play. Grabenikov couldn't get a tip on it. He's back of the goal now. Grabenikov trying to center that one but was hit by Wickline. Petrantonio watched by Peavy. Moved ahead for Krupp. And Ooh. Krupp... Backhands it up and out of play as Justin Pringle made a nice play right there in the neutral zone defensively. And that's one of those key plays defensively as a forward, Peter, when you make in the neutral zone. It looked like Jay Krupp had some space, but that hole closed quickly. Oh, yeah, that was the galvanizing play? That was the galvanizing yeah, play. Yeah, this was the one of the galvanizing plays, you know, you want to make. It's always it's always important to, to protect and hold, hold to your uh, blue line, you know. It always gives the, what's going on there? The goalie broke a stick. So Emily that's Colgan something broke like the stick. that. Yeah. His galvanizing stick. His galvanizing <laughs> goalie stick. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, you're learning something new every day. I'm sorry, I'm going to bring a whole thesaurus <laughs> up here next time. <laughs> Kennedy off the draw. Moves it ahead for Ford, or tried to. That was deflected. All the worth off a skate, gets it back, shoots. Cavalieri made the save. Poked just wide. That was dangerous. And now moved ahead by Baker for Keplinger. Keplinger held up from behind. His stick flies out of his hands, and there's the call. And the first power play of the game. A power play for Carolina that comes in. 22%. And a penalty kill for Columbus that's just one percentage point back of Carolina for best in the league at 87%. It's a big number too. This power play will be put to the test. Penalty is on Thomas Aldworth. So we got a uh, Jacob Schnapp, PV, Fort, Baker, and a Tucker Firt. First able to, or not able to glove this down. Aldworth off two for slashing. And the first 10 seconds are killed off of that. Cavallari over for Baker at the opposite end. Moved back over for Firth. Tucker Firth delaying back of his own goal and now he'll move it ahead. Firth drops it back for Ford. Dangles nicely around Doe. Ford moves into the zone. Gus Ford is in, shoots just wide. Oh, he had it labeled. Baker out top, near side Peavy. Throws it down low, schnapp. Watch by Petronzonio. Back out top for Peavy. Puck comes free and Doe was able you to get the You south. can see on the PK of the Columbus, they go very aggressively on you. So they, they try to not let you set up. They, they go very actively on you. And it's sometimes it's hard to 
hard to set it up, which means you have to pass pucks very quickly. Moved ahead, Baker now trying to go back across for four. That's just a little bit too far to restart the breakout with a minute killed and a minute to go on the initial Carolina power play of the night for, for Peavy. He'll have to dump this in. Colgan plays it back of the goal. Ford tips it short side, picked up by Firth. Plays it back for Ford. Far side out from the dot, shoots just wide. Baker hops on it, can't hold it in. Puck wouldn't settle down. Baker whacks it ahead. Peavy now fans on the pass. Baker will recover it. Moving ahead for Butita with 30 seconds left on the penalty. Butita has it picked off. Allworth moves it ahead. Kelly, after it was tipped by Pringle, will move back out to center. Frazio in his own end. We'll wire this oh, off of Kennedy, oh. and Storjahan was offside. Ninety-seven seconds to go here in this first period. Thirteen seconds left on the power play. Faceoff was won by Butita, but picked off now by Vanelli in the final ten of this power play. Frejo moves it up the ice, but off the official. Now taken away by. Gill, centered for Wickline, but picked off by Butita, who drops it back for Salak. Pringle now moves it ahead for Butita. It's onside. Trying to center it for Pringle, tipped by a defender. Now moved around the wall. Keplinger with a minute to go here in the first. Finelli, far side, hit by Butita. Frejo moves it around the wall. Good passing here in their own end as it comes out. Pringle hops on it, dumps it in deep. A high stick, no? Probably should have been, but waved off by the official. Butsita, after Gill fanned on the clearance attempt, moves it in far side. Salak pokes this free. It's in a battle for it back of the goal, but it's muscled free by Finelli. Wickline, with 30 seconds left here in the first, plays back for Frejo. Frejo delaying Finelli. Too far for Aldworth. Kennedy backhanded ahead. Nice play for Schnapp. Schnapp with 20 seconds. Schnapp moves it back of the goal. Greco comes out for it. Ford tried to keep it alive. Took a puck up high. Might have hit him in the helmet now with 10 seconds to go. Frejo moves it ahead. Storjahan. One last chance here in this Get first period. Here's Storjahan. Glove save Cavallari. Two and one. That is the first intermission. Oh, Mario with a marvelous save at the horn. Oh, my. Quick developing chance, and Cavallari was ready for it. Now he's one of those guys, Peter, that, and when we had him on the coaches show earlier in the year, he kind of talked about this. He doesn't ever look at the clock until the game is over. Yeah, I mean, you got a 10 seconds left. This, Brad, this cannot happen. You know, like, with the one minute left, 30 seconds left, you got to be super careful, careful with that. And I remember in you know, Columbus, we got a we got a score on with a one one second left, you know. So you got to be very careful with the beginnings of the games and uh, and uh, I mean the beginnings of the periods and the uh, end of the periods. Cavalieri plays to the final horn as is everybody else as he's able to make. This was a huge, 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 a massive save, save. So circle that one uh, as we move along here. That could be a pivotal save going. I would forward. say it was a galvanizing save. It's a galvanizing save. Galvanizing he save. Loves that word. That's Peter Podachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. We'll be back to break down this first period as well as take you around the rest of the FPHL. We're tied up. Carolina and Columbus are 1-1 after one in Winston-Salem. Intermission report rolls on after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher. Pushing further. Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? 
Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic-looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at FlowVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. Inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, that's Peter Panacek. I'm Brett Wiseman. Pretty hotly contested first period there, but for Carolina, able to get the momentum they needed off the Viktor Grabenikov goal after Kelly scored uh, within the first half of that first period. Pretty evenly played, I would say, between both teams in that yeah, first it was, period. It, you, can, you can tell, like, the beginning was very careful, careful from the both sides, you know. the It looked kind of a little bit slower from my point of view, but... You know, the first goal, it was a very important goal from the victor. You know, now it's an even game and uh, the, the momentum a little bit shifted back to, to our side. But it's very, very even game. We didn't see much, much going on. It's very careful for now. Victor's first goal of the season is the one that tied. Oh, it was the, the first goal of the season. That is his first of the wow. season. He had well eight, deserved. Eight, well deserved. Eight assists before that, but no goals. And over there on the far side, that's why you saw the celebration you did. It was a it was a monkey off the back for Victor. Uh, galvanizing goal. Galvanizing as the soon to be father. <laughs> galvanizing uh, or galvanizing? Galvanizing. Galvanizing. Yes. Do I need to write it out for you? No, I got it. Okay. My, I got it tattooed in my memory now. There you go. <laughs> Tattoo things in your memory. Okay, I didn't know that. See, I learned something now. What? I didn't know you could tattoo things in your oh, head. You get, oh yeah, in my mind, man. I had to be painful. <laughs> All right, what we got going on, Brett? Jacob Kelly was the one that had the goal there at 9, 10, and 4, Columbus. And then Gravenikov from PB and Schnapp the goal at 12.53. Shot stand 13-8 now in favor of Columbus. Carolina 0 for 1 on the power play. But again, as we talked about, much of that first period even when you have two teams that know each other as well as these two teams do there's still a feeling out process when you meet again for the first time in a few weeks yeah i mean the, we have a history against each other you know you you go to the game you know the you know you know what to expect from the game so that's that's why i think it's uh, very very careful but i can tell like the guy the guys are dial in you can see the block shots you know by baker by uh, salak by schnapp so the guys the guys definitely doing the great job they are dialing in and um we can we will see what's going to happen in the uh, next 40 minutes yeah we saw two courageous blocks there by baker uh on shots for the point that had a lot 
a lot of whistle on him as he was able to step in yeah, front it, of him. Yeah, it's it's the most painful when you get it like to the side of the of the feet. You know, it's it's you get a skate, but there is not much not, not much protection on it. So it's I can tell from the experience, it's 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 painful. It it hurts, but. During the game, you got so many like adrenaline going on in you, so he will be fine. So is it worse to get a hit in the front of the foot, at the ankle, shin? I mean, you don't want to get a hit at you all. You don't want to like. get hit at all. But if it's going <laughs> to if it's going to hit you in the in the you know the lower leg area, I would, I would prefer the shin pads. Definitely not the ankle, but hey, you got to take a hit to to save save a save a goal sometimes. And that was that was most certainly in those two scenarios and the play by Bioni as well the crouch block there's two big plays in that first period that we might want to circle back to the three on one that developed oh, yeah. uh, there with about I believe, eight minutes to go Bioni on the crouch block deflected the pass broke the whole thing up single handedly as the only guy back against three guys and then that save by Cavalieri there with the glove right at the horn oh yeah 100% the, the three on one I think was one of the biggest chances of the game you know there was a there was three, three, three River Dragons guys and just one defensive player. So it was a huge defensive play by Bioni or Bioni. Joe Kennedy. I believe it was Bioni. And then, uh, then a great save by uh, Mario Cavalieri in a you know few few seconds left. So this is the this is the big moments of the game. And uh, yep. And Mario told me uh, on the coaches show that he, he never looks at the clock when he's playing. He never looks at the clock, so he can be dialed in for anything and everything that comes his way. Yeah, I mean, when I play, I definitely know what's going on with the minute because you need to be careful. It's um, you know, how I said at the beginning of the period, at the end of the period. If it's if it's tight game, you know, you get a one minute left. You gotta think, you know, you don't want to risk any goals. So you, you your mind maybe switch a little bit defensive, but it all depends on the situation of the game. But uh, definitely, definitely, when I'm playing, I'm um, trying to to manage the clock too. And uh, but I'm saying every game is a different, and that's why we love hockey. Do you think maybe at the end of that first period, creating that chance, was Carolina maybe pushing a little bit too hard, or were they backed off too much? Uh, I feel like we were we weren't we weren't disciplined enough. You know, like no matter what, if if you if you let this chance happen in a 10 seconds left in the game, I mean, th this this cannot just happen, right? You know, you gotta be you gotta be you gotta do everything impossible, just not 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 let them try to you know have a shot even not even like have a little shot you just have to manage like the position hold the blue line and uh, i don't know you just just you just gotta do something i'm sure that's part of the conversation right now in the locker room with uh, garrett rutledge and company as he will try and galvanize it's another use of that word galvanize uh, the boys in the locker room there for the second period while the thunderbirds and river dragons rest up and hydrate inside their respective dressing rooms Peter and I will be right back to take you around the rest of the FPHL and tell you what's going on right after this. 1-1 after 1 in Winston-Salem between the River Dragons and the Thunderbirds. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher. Pushing further. Achieving Remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic-looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. A-List Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. A-List Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos. 
with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you just... Patrick, I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, let's take a spin around the FPHL Let's make a real look quick, what's going we? on around. Mississippi and Motor City are underway. They got underway at 8.05 our time, 7.05 their time, and 15 minutes into that first period, already tied up. 1-1, the goal on the... Or even straight, I should say, Yaroslav Yevdokimov from Yanni Liriakos at 519, followed up at 1049. Connor Inger from Josh Colton tying things up 1-1. Shots in favor of Mississippi 10-6. Looks like a tight game. Yeah, it should be uh, between those two teams. The way Mississippi's playing right now, I feel like they match up a little bit more evenly uh, with a team like Motor City than maybe they would earlier on in the season. Interesting score in Port Huron as Binghamton and the, the Binghamton Black Bears and the Prowlers tied up 2-2 from McMoran Arena. 14 minutes into the second period. Shots 24-19 in favor of Binghamton. The goal the from Evan Foley at 4.06 of the second, made it 2-1, and then Mac Lewis on the power play for Binghamton, tying things up at two, so another tight one there between two really good teams. Yeah, I mean, Binghamton is, I didn't see them play, but from what I'm hearing, it's one of the top teams in the league, and the Port Huron, it's the one of, one of the teams you never know who you, who you play against, you know? You get a games, they play absolutely amazing, and then you get a games when they absolutely It's one of those coin tosses, you don't know who's, <laughs> yeah, you, you don't, don't know you which team's gonna show up, right? Exactly, exactly, so one of those teams. Over to Danbury and Watertown for the Watertown Arena at the end of the first. It is Danbury up one to nothing. The goal in that one. As we see, yeah, there we go. 248, Luke Richards from Brendan Dowler and Michael Marsha. What are the shots? The only goal in that one. Shots 15-10 Looks pretty in even. favor of Danbury. So Watertown uh, playing the Danbury hat, first place Danbury hat trick pretty evenly uh, so far in that one. To Delaware, the Thunder. Up one after one. That's good news. Rocco Di Costanzo from Jacob Wolf and others at 17-12. I mean, if if Delaware is looking for a win, Mammoth is definitely the team to beat. Okay, they, like, haven't, I mean, if they haven't won in 28 games, and that, that might be the opponent to do it against. They brought back their original home uniforms from two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, other than the ones that have Delaware in the script, the kind of the uh, New Jersey Devils look-alike ones. They brought back the ones with the, uh, the Thunder Viking head on them, the silver trim, fantastic-looking sweaters. Who knows? Yeah. That might be the difference. That might be it, or they just want to win. They just decided they want to win. That too. <laughs> that works too. And you play against Mammoths, so when else you want to win? Again, if you can't get up for that, <laughs> what are you doing? That's Peter Podachik, I'm Brent Wiseman, Jose and Gina Bahita, and Colby Cook on technical assistance, along with Logan Allen and then Rick O'Neill, the radio guy in our WTOB radio studios. About five minutes away from the start of our second period, we'll break down what's to come in it when we come back. This is Thunderbird Hockey. You can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in-arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. 
Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Back here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Podachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, what are you looking for here in the second period? What I'm looking for, uh, hopefully, I think the key is for us to start being a little bit more aggressive, make it a little bit harder for uh, Columbus River Dranger, especially maybe push a little bit on their Ds and uh, make it a little bit harder, harder life for them. And uh, definitely, we were looking for more position maybe and definitely get some shots on the net. Period of the long change coming up right after this. Tied up 1-1 between the Thunderbirds and the River Dragons. Back after this, this is Thunderbirds Hockey. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist.
Salem Fairground Xanax. Middle frame set to go between the arch rivals, the Carolina Thunderbirds, and the Columbus River Dragons. That's Peter Panacek. I'm Brett Wiseman, and we'll get the second period up and rolling. Off we go. Face-off won by Columbus. Adam Vanelli moves it ahead for Alexander Jameev, who dump it into the zone on the backhand. Cavalieri plays this up and off the wall, held in by Vanelli at the point. That shot tipped. And off to the cross side. Underwood moves this out top. Frejo throws it off the wall. That was on purpose to shoot that one wide. Looking for a bounce in front. Moved ahead by Kennedy. Trying to go over for Baker. Hopped over his stick. Kennedy able to force it free. And Baker is shaken up. After a collision. Moved ahead by Columbus. Jameef and Doe are after it for them. Kennedy's able to muscle it out towards the wall. He and Frejo will come together for it. Sent down low by Frejo. Martin and Jamea battle. Jamea on the backhand. Centering pass for Storjahan. Could not be handled. Ford moves it ahead. Martin had a whack at it. Jamea did as well. Storjahan has his pass picked off by Salak in the neutral zone. Salak's able to muscle it into the zone. Colgan plays it back of the goal. Putita through traffic and Salak was in front. Colgan made the stop on that one. Eighteen fifty to go. A minute and ten seconds gone by here in this first period. Shots now 13-9 in favor of Columbus. Pastuka off the draw. Try to shoot that one through traffic, tipped wide. Moved out to center first. Then. Kelly speeds into the zone. Nice play defensively by first. Now we got a two on one. Two on one coming. Butita and Pastuka. Butita shoots. Colgan made the stop. Rebound was there. But Butita poked it wide. He's back on this loose puck though. Pastuka trying to muscle it free. Worked out by Storjahan. Here comes Kelly the other way. He'll send this deep. Off the wall for Lane King. As Bioni, able to make the play defensively. LaBelle shoots it towards the net. Off the stick of first, trying to move this out. Picked off, Storja oh. on the crossbar. That was a dangerous shot. Wired that one right off the bar. Greco from the point hit the pads of Cavallari. Here's Kelly, moves it over for LaBelle. He'll get it around the wall. Firth. Trying to backhand this ahead. Salak's able to move back and get it. And now around a defender. A little hook maybe, no? Looked like it. And I believe they call offside on that. Nope, they got the hook. No, it looks like an offside, no? Columbus penalty box door is open. No, I think it's just the offside. But anyway, two big chances, Brett. The first first chance, two on one. John Butida with uh, Pestuka. And then we had... Uh, Another, sh another great shot by the, the River Dragons on the other side. Yeah, bookmark those two. Bookmark the save by Colgan and then the save by the crossbar. Which I still think should be a shot on goal. Technically, and that's not counted this one. But Peter, what is the crossbar a part of? Uh, and that. The goal, so it should be a shot on goal, right? Thanks. Rogers out top, shoots one on goal. That's definitely a shot on goal. That's glove saved by Cavallari. I've always thought that for as long as I've watched hockey. I have never understood why a shot that hits the crossbar or the post is not a quote-unquote shot on goal in the stat book. Yeah, it's more like a goalie save. It's maybe for a goalie when they make a save. Right, so the stat should be called goalie save, not shot on goal, right? <laughs> Just a thought. Kravenikov moves this up the wall. PB out to center. Moved back into the zone. Cavalieri settles this down with a goal stick. Wick line has position on Grabenikov. Trying to set on that one for Krupp who had to work around the official to get there. Wick line backhands it in front. Just over the stick of Aldworth. Moved out by Grabenikov. Schnapp trying to feed that through a set of legs and it's picked off. Pringle forechecking on this. Petrantonio for Wick line. Able to get it out to center. A fluttering puck sent back in deep by Grabenikov. Petrantonio backhanded indirectly for Rogers. Rogers banks it off the wall, picked off by Pringle. Pringle trying to center this for Schnapp. Now picked up again by Aldworth. 
Knocked off of it by Peavy. Grabenikov dangles around one at center. Couldn't get around the second. And it's thrown into the zone as neither team can really get a solid attack going here. Schnapp moves it deep into the zone. Chases after it. Settled down by Colgan now for Vanelli. Vanelli looking for Underwood. He's able to get to it. Underwood starts the engine. Left side, Doe. Looking for a centering a pass hook. and a hook on Tucker Firth will be the call. Columbus has control of it. Off the back wall, a touch coming from Joe Kennedy. And there's the whistle with 15.56 to go here in the second. And the Columbus power play, which sits at 17%, will get its first opportunity against the Carolina League best 88% PK. This is a big moment of the game. You always talk about turning points, Peter. This might be it. Hopefully our guys, uh, we got a Jacob Schnapp, Blake PV, which are, uh, those two guys are really good on a PK. So we got a great PK on the ice, but uh, the Columbus power play is always dangerous. So we got to be definitely careful. Shot 16-10 in favor of Columbus. Schnapp to take the draw after PB was kicked out of the dot. Jammed up along the near side of all. Storjahan back for Greco. Greco, Storjahan, Kelly, King, and LaBelle are the five on this power play unit. Here's King. Poked free by Schnapp, moved over for LaBelle. Now Kelly moving in. Storjahan down low, cross crease looking for King. That hit a skate, nice. and it's moved out by Schnapp despite LaBelle's best efforts to keep that in. Kennedy picks off this at center and moves it back to the own blue line. LaBelle moves it ahead for Greco, delaying, pass was blocked partially by Martin. Thrown out top, LaBelle keeps it in with the length. That was a good pass. And it comes out off the pass from LaBelle to Kelly, Storjahan ahead. Shoots one through traffic. Cavalieri got the waffle board on that one. PB can't get it out. Held in by LaBelle. Played back over for Krupp who hops on this unit. Krupp played back in front. Krupp a shot blocked Ooh. in front. And Cavalieri covered. That was a big save by Mario. And we head to a timeout. 14.50 to go here in our second period. 52 seconds remain on the first Columbus power play of the night. Still tied 1-1 between the Thunderbirds and the River Dragons. We're back in 30 seconds. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. And Tariq Bryant helping us out on the technical side here in the arena. And Rick O'Neill, the radio guy, holding it down in our WTOB radio studio. Last 52 seconds of this Columbus power play, Peter, and a good start to the PK for Carolina. So far, so good. We got a 50, 52 seconds left, so hopefully, hopefully our guys can kill it, and it'll be definitely huge. Held at the point by Frejo, and now a whistle. I think we're going to redo the draw. Face-off violation. Somebody moved too soon. And he won. I can't believe Jan Salak won a draw. <laughs> he just did. I never saw him win a draw in my life. <laughs> Well, you learn things tonight. Now you've seen something you've never seen before. I was like, wow. Clear down the length of the ice. <laughs> Very impressive. i got to give him credit after a game for this. 30 seconds left on this Columbus power play. I'm still trying to get over that myself. 
Moved in deep by Vanelli around the wall. Grabenikov watching Wick line. Salak gets that long stick in there. Jammed up far side. Four now five man scrum for it. Pops out to Frejo. Delaying. Shoots through traffic. Cavalieri saw it the whole way. And it made the glove stop. It's a great job by Bioni taking uh, Jake Rubov out of the, uh, Mario's view. And uh, that's just a clear shot from the net and routine save for him. That group was trying to get presence there in front of the net. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to stay in front of the net. You know, that's the that's the type of player. You know, you put the guy in the power play there just to, you know, have the rebounds, be there. You know, block the view. So it's very important to to get him get him uh, out of the view so Mario can can clearly see and uh, make an easy save for him. Final ten seconds of this Columbus power play cleared down the ice by Kennedy. Colgan will play it back with three seconds, two and one. Carolina back Great at job. full strength. Great job by, by our boys. A couple of shots on that power play, but no harm done. Rogers hit by Schnapp back of the play. Petrantonio moves it ahead for Jameev as Firth is out of the box. Jameev moves it around Firth, but it's picked off by Martin, who tried to get it out, but that clearance attempt was blocked. Jameev is pinned by Firth. Underwood trying to center it. Goes out top for Rogers. Shoots. That one is blocked by block. Firth. Comes Frito to Jameev. Trying to center one for Doe. Comes free to Kennedy. That's the thing about the tackle for He just, it's just amazing how he just eats the shots. Storjahan trying to move around Firth, who poke checked that away. Dropped back and fanning on a one timer was King. Schnapp plays it around Storjahan. Firth moves it ahead for Blake Peavy right on the tape. Here comes Peavy. Moving into the zone, drops it back for Kennedy. Kennedy shoots, that caught Colgan up high. Peavy, back down low. Baker in the high slot, shoots, that one was blocked by LaBelle. Kelly, leveled Whoa, by Baker at center. Oh, what a hit. Storjahan moves it back of the goal. Kelly, or excuse me, Kennedy plays it ahead around Kelly for Peavy. Peavy centering for Kennedy, couldn't quite get it free. Hops back on the loose puck. Trying to go high slot to an awaiting Baker, but that was picked off by Kelly. Stretch pass, tipped off a stick. Back of the goal, Greco's after. Oh, ow, Jumps ow, Kennedy ow, ow, down. Ow, ow. And he's hit now by Bioni. Hopefully he'll be okay. But this is the worst what can happen to you as a player when you get hit and you're just sliding to the board. Well, Kennedy popped right back up, which is a good sign. And now Carolina's iced it with 12-11 to go. It's just, he looks, he looks he's okay, so... Well, that, that was, and that's a scary part of the ice, especially when there's a, a collision or, or contact in that fashion. That's how I got hurt. That's how you Tucker, know, when you're sliding to the board. Tucker and Firth went down uh, last Friday night and ended up with uh, a bundle of stitches in uh, dental bill. After a slight delay, Keplinger to take the draw. He'll win it. Tied up in the uh, face-off dot. Wick line will come to it. Played around the wall for Krupp. Left side for Ajo after Krupp was hit by Bioni. Center down in front. Krupp had it tipped off the stick of Kennedy. Who, if Kennedy didn't make that play, Krupp might score. As he had a wide open high glove side on Cavallari, but Kennedy altered the shot from behind. Held in by Frejo. Aldworth comes to this. Tied up by Ford from behind. Can't get the shot free. Good oh, play no. by Ford. Frejo off the interception. Shoots and scores. Paul Frejo has made it 2-1 Columbus. It's very unfortunate for us. I think it was Joe Joe Kennedy. He was just trying to clear the puck and the, the puck bounces and the right on the stick, one of the players. And I don't think that was much of a mistake made by anybody. Just an unfortunate bounce that went the right way for the white, teal, and black sweaters. 11.33 to go. Here in the second. And a 2-1 lead for Columbus. Shots 20-11 in their favor. Set down the length of the ice. Petrantonio watched by Pinkowski, moved around the wall and cleared up and out. 
Grabenikoff moved ahead. Martin flip dumps this uh, in deep. Right to the face. And that actually hit Jamea at center. Martin was trying to flip that up and out. In the neutral zone, moved in deep by Underwood. Cavallari watched by Doe from behind the play. Martin for Schnapp, head for Pringle. Trying to get that to his backhand. Moved ahead by Martin over the stick of Grabenikoff. And now Petrantonio will back Ooh. in this in deep as he and Pinkowski come together in a whistle. And are we going to get Pinkowski for a penalty here? And Pinkowski for interference. Well. well it was a little bit late, but I don't, I don't know that like it was quite that late. I don't feel like it would be for two minutes. Dawson Baker is headed off to the dressing room. Well, hopefully for no more than some minor repairs. And we got a power play for Dragons. King on the power play for LaBelle. Back for King. Left side Kelly. Toe draggy. Blocked by the boot of Firth. Who whacks it up the wall. And LaBelle just barely held that in. Storjahan. Watched by Kennedy, down low Greco. Banks it off for Storjahan. Storjahan moves it out top, LaBelle. Shoots through traffic, tipped in front. Loose puck, Kelly. Another that one shot. was blocked again. Peavy trying to work this out. He does. I just want to give credit to our boys just for blocking shots today. It's absolutely amazing. 35 seconds killed on this second Columbus power play. Storjahan will move things up and out. Around first, Storjahan moving in, wraps it around back of the goal, wide. King hops on this. King, watched by Firth, trying to center one for Greco. LaBelle will not be able to hold it in this time. Watched by Peavy, moved ahead for Kelly. Kelly, drop back for King. King, delaying, out top, Frejo. Down low, Kelly, cross crease, oh. old worst save made, Cavallari, loose puck in front. Oh, that was a huge three. save by Mario. Big and time big save. Big stick save by uh, Joe Kennedy there too. That was, that was a clear rebound there. Frejo's able to hold it in. Aldworth. With 35 seconds left on this power play. Aldworth, one-timer, blocked by Schnapp. Puck comes free to him. It's loose, Peavy, hit by Vanelli. It's still in the zone. Out top, Wickline, who was tapping his stick for that one. Back out top, Vanelli. Vanelli rips one. Cavallari got it with the pads all the way up into the air. And now a penalty. Oh. And Greco shoves down Schnapp and, of course, immediately runs away before he can hear anything about it. And that's Greco's game, Peter. He's physical until it's time to answer for it. And then he skates off. He knew where he was headed, too. As he's got I'm just, I'm just wondering what's, what's going to happen there. If there is going to be two penalties or, or just one. And they had to immediate timeout as well while we sort this thing out. 2-1, Columbus is our score in the second period. We're back in 30 seconds. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Love Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. 13 seconds left on the Columbus power play with exactly nine minutes to go here in the second period. Yeah, Brad, now we're gonna now we're gonna have a four on four situation for 13 seconds and then uh, we have a power play for Carolina Thunderbird. So hopefully, hopefully we can we can uh, get a momentum behind it and uh, score some goal. Shots are now 22 to 11.
So 13 seconds of four on four time, as Peter said, before power play number two for Carolina. As it's moved up and out of the slot. Ahead now for Petrantonio. Petrantonio down the wall, trying to center that one. Jamea had it come free to him. Dangling in front, poke check from behind by Pastuka, alertly. Petrantonio in the neutral zone. Minute 35 on the power play. In on goal, it comes on Cavallari. Ford's able to dangle up and out. Now Carolina can get the engine started. Schnapp throws it in the slot. Peavy shoots, oh. missed just wide. Still a minute 20 to go on the power play. Peavy just barely able to hold that in, but now it's sticked down by Rogers and moved up and out. Underwood backhands it in deep. Eight minutes to go here in the second. First. Backhand drops it back for Ford. Moves through the neutral zone. Gus Ford into the zone. Tried to drop that one back and it's banked out. 49 seconds left on the penalty to Greco. Drops back for Keplinger. Moves around Gill. Keplinger works into the zone. Drops it over for Ford who tips it back for Keplinger. Keplinger back of the goal watch by Frejo over for Peavy. Off the kick plate. Out for Firth. Here's Butita. Cross size Peavy. Gets a shot away even though the puck would not settle down for him. Keplinger back of the goal. Ford trying to backhand pass. That one was whacked by Vanelli from behind and moved out. 7.15 to go here in the second. And the power play coming to an end here for Carolina as Gill dangles around in his own end. Moves it back outside for Storjahan. Down low Firth. Moves it ahead for Butita, and Greco's sentence has expired. Butita moves it over for Keplinger, trying to dangle around Greco. And Greco's able to move this back outside. Storjahan. And a whistle hand pass is the call on Joe Kennedy. We'll pause like 10 Dawson seconds. Dawson Baker is back in the game. Dawson Baker is back. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Thunderbird Saki. of the hand pass in the neutral zone the face off comes into the attacking zone for Columbus Dorjahan will take it 647 to go here in the second LaBelle plays it down the wall Kelly with a chance in front dangles around muscles it on goal and Cavallari save, got a poke there. on it another big stop Pringle plays it off the wall Martin around Kelly moves it ahead for Schnapp tipped into the zone Colgan Clearance is handled by King, ahead for Kelly. Now cleared out of the zone, Schnapp. Oh. Through the legs of Greco and Schnapp with a, or Greco with a big hit. He took out the official in the process. LaBelle with six minutes left. Peavy trying to get it away from Storjahan. He gets it out, picked off by Martin. Moved it in the middle for Peavy. Now picked up by LaBelle as Carolina's changing. Kelly. In the neutral zone, Jemayev kicks it to his stick. Going to go cross crease for Underwood, who's hooked from behind. And a call up coming on Carolina with 5.46 to go here in the second. Brad, I will take this penalty because uh, it looks like, was it? Underwood was right there. Yeah, Underwood he was, was right there. He was right, right there, there the with slot. the stick. So this is one of those penalties you will take because this could end up in the net. So... And Danny Martin is guilty of it. Coach Paul Jackson is out there with the power tools working on the net. Coach Paul, shout out to Coach Paul and his wife. Always a good shout out to Coach Paul from the hard work he does around this building. He's he's had a long day. He was here at 10 o'clock this morning for the nah, first of was, the two ACCHL games. He was, he, was, he was here before 10 a.m., I can tell you. He was here like 6. <laughs> Probably. He's here at 6 like every day. 
So much Coach Paul loves hockey as that shot in front went through traffic. Cavalieri got a piece of it. Now it's cleared down the ice as this Carolina penalty kill will once again be put to the test. Jamaev, pass tipped. Peavy, after Schnapp tipped it, plays it back for Firth, who will launch it. Oh the my the God. ice out of play. And that's a penalty for a break. And it's going to be a delay of game as that didn't touch anybody this is or anything huge on the way out. Huge mistake by Tucker Firth. You just basically gave away five on three power play for a minute 35, Brad. This is a huge. 95 seconds of five on three time. You gotta be careful there. This is huge. Five on three power play for a minute 35, but that's 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 a lot. Frajo out top. Fakes the slap shot. Now goes cross ice. Wick line. Now top, Vanelli high slot shoots. Pad save, Cavallari. Schnapp whacks it to the corner. Worked free by Wick line, moving into the high slot. Aldor shoots. No. Save made, short side, Cavallari. Peavy will work this up for Schnapp and out. And break things out. Schnapp moves it in on goal. And worked up and out by left. Columbus. Minute left on the initial penalty. Wickline shoots at Cavalieri. Got a piece of that one. Vanelli for Frejo. Cross ice. Wickline back for Vanelli. Now for Frejo, right side, near side. Frejo, high slot. Watched by Schnapp. Shoots. Cavalieri got that one too. Group drops it back. Underwood. Frejo shoots. High. Kennedy. Trying to muscle this puck free, Aldworth. Great job, Shouldered Joe. by Great Kennedy. Job. He's able to kill some more time. 20 seconds. Got it. Frejo again. Finelli one timer save. Cavallari. It's a great job by this these three players and a Mario. You know, the Columbus they had a shots. They had a, they had a shots, but they didn't have like a dangerous shot. If you know what I'm saying, like right. They didn't have the one timer shot. So great job by our, by our three guys. And uh, we have the 15 seconds left and a media timeout, Brett, which works for us. Chance to catch our breath. 4.01 to go here in the second. The remainder of this Columbus five on three power play, which will turn into a five on four, will continue. They lead it two to one, out shooting Carolina 27 to 12. We'll be back after this. It's another Bertocchi. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. In my hips like yeah Peter Panachik singing Miley <laughs> Cyrus as we come back from the commercial break it's the party in the USA Brett party in Winston-Salem right now <laughs> it's not a fun it's fun one of us we would like to have as Carolina trails two to one 401 to go in the second 27 to 12 with the shots 15 seconds remain on Martin's hooking call which means 15 seconds remain on the five on three. Brad, I just hope my singing wasn't on the broadcast. We'll find out. <laughs> Finally, puck is dropped. Baker back out there, wins the draw. Storjahan. Out top for LaBelle. Kelly, back door, Storjahan trying to look in front, cross crease, King, able to get a handle on it. Kelly. Two, one. Five on four we go. Great job by Wick there. Victor blocked that one. This is huge. Fanning on the pass was King as he and Pastuka come together. Back of the goal, Storjahan. Got a 10 seconds left. Storjahan shoots through traffic. Cavalieri made a stick save. Martin and out of the box, can't get it out. 
LaBelle moves it down low. Greco bodied by Glavenikov. Penalty's over. LaBelle stick lifted from behind by Firth through traffic. Greco had a whack. Oh, what a save! Oh, a save, Cavallari! Oh, baby! Brett, talk Marvelous it. Mario! Talk about the galvanizing moment, Brett. What a kill by our guys. And Mario Cavallari standing on his head made two spectacular stops back to back. But let's not forget for Viktor Grebenikov who made a couple, couple great defensive plays and block passes. Like, shout out to all the, all the guys who were there on a PK. This is absolutely amazing job. Galvanizing job. Galvanizing. Galvanizing job. Absolutely. 3-12 to go here on the second. 2-1 to one's our score. 29-12 with the shots in favor of Columbus. Kennedy. Able to work this ahead. Pringle for Ford. Here comes Gus Ford around Rogers. Trying to center one. Doe picked that off. Moved ahead by Jamea. Seems like Columbus has been all over the passing lanes tonight. Ford. We'll move this ahead now. Bioni. Back for Ford through the neutral zone. Ford poked away. Now Jamea will chip this around. Kennedy. Bioni comes to it. Near side wall, jammed up. Multi-man scrum moved out by Kennedy. Keplinger banks this off the wall. It'll come free to Petrantonio. Petrantonio for Doe at the red line. He'll backhand it in deep with 220 left of the second. Cavallari takes a hit from Wick line back of the play. Kennedy moves this ahead. And it's going to be an, an icing, icing call. call with 211 to go. Keplinger wins the draw, Bioni whacks it. Can't get it out now, Keplinger does. Keplinger moves it into the zone, shoots just high. Oh, he had his spot picked though. Pringle trying to work it free. Keplinger and Ford collide in friendly fire. Ford through traffic and Colgan made a glove save, but it's an offensive zone draw upcoming, one we haven't seen in a while for Carolina with under two minutes to go here in the middle frame. Butita off the draw, it's tied up in the dot. Wickline works it free, can't get it out. Pastuka for Salak, tipped on goal. Held in at the point by Pastuka. Shot was blocked and it goes up and out of play with a minute 40 to go now in the second. Shots are now 29-13 in favor of the River Dragons. Important final two minutes after that huge penalty kill. Storjahan and Butita tied up off the draw again. Trying to work this free as everybody there. Salak is able to do so. Salak for Butita. Centering one, Pastuka shot it on, but Colgan made the stick save. Kelly gets it out. Firth has control, moves it ahead for Salak. Here's Jan. Delaying, trying to drop that back for Pastuka. That passing lane was blocked off. Butita moves it ahead for Salak. Body from behind. Here's Butita wrapping around, banks it away in front, loose in the crease, and Colgan's able to find it and smother it with a minute eight to go here in the second. Sixty-eight seconds remain here in the middle frame. Butita and Storjahan yet again to take the draw. Salak shoots. That was blocked up and out of play. A minute four. Yeah. 
Shots now 29-15 in favor of Columbus. Butita gets the deck off the draw. Salak hops on it. Drops it over for Pastuka. Dangles around. Moves it to the slot. Ford trying to muscle this around LaBelle. LaBelle is leveled back of the play. Salak trying to hold this in. He does. Butita moves it for Ford. And now a whistle as the glass has come loose from where Ford and LaBelle collided. Well. Or did it? I'm not sure what the whistle was for then. Uh, I have no idea, Brett. Looked like one of the officials pointed there in the corner where the collision happened, but... Okay, 41.8. Keplier wins the draw. Ford delaying, shoots, missed just wide. Firth holds it at the right point. Keplinger centering it for Baker, who's leveled from behind by Jamea. Baker trying to keep this alive. Jamea moves it ahead for Doe. Doe with 25 seconds left. Huge big, huge big hit by Pastuka. And now it creates a chance the other way. Ford, sick handling his way in front. Trying to drop it back for Keplinger, could not. Moved up and out. Firth will glove it down with 10 seconds. Baker trying to tip it into the zone. Underwood with five, with four, with three, ahead for Jameyev, and this will do it. And one more shot on goal for good measure. Cavallari will add to his save total and glove that one down. Only scoring of the period went the way of the white, black, and teal sweaters as Carolina trails Columbus two to one after two periods of play. Shots 29-15 in favor of Columbus. Peter and I will be back to break we'll down that back. second period. Take you around the rest of the FPHL and more after this. Two to one, River Dragons after two. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always is it a reaching check the back higher. Time? Pushing further. Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with 4Motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. 
We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. You can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV. Bring it back here in our second intermission, Peter. I'm I just have the best moment of my life. This is the first time I did a check the puck. Uh, by the way, shout out to the person who brought me the check the puck. Yeah, I don't know who it was. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Brought who, you somebody the brought me check the puck, which is very sweet because last last uh, game I was complaining about me never right. doing that. So this is this this was my first time. And you did win a T-shirt from our friends at WCOD. I, b- I better get the T-shirt because the my 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 puck landed right there. We have we have visual evidence. The camera was rolling even though we were in commercial. So. Yeah, I right better there. get my prize. Right there, right above the logo. <laughs> right, right in the right middle. There. Hey. All right, back to the hockey. Rick O'Neill says you'll get your t-shirt. Thank you. By darn. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> two to one, our score after two periods of play between Carolina and Columbus. And Peter, a much different second period than was the first. It, it was definitely more tough. You know, you could see more the guys starting to hitting each other. By the way, did you did we mention the we something, so something? Something happened after uh, the, ah, the, the that's, that's the period what I ended. Thought. So, yeah, abuse the, of the officials at the end of the period. After we went to break, back in their respective corners at their dressing rooms, twenty-four in white, teal, and black, six in black and red. Which is Jacob Schnapp and the Greco. They Jacob. probably they probably got into it each other they and probably it, got into it with each other said something to the officials that they didn't like they've both been ta- given a 10 minute misconduct it's not a game misconduct it's only listed as a 10 minute misconduct but both were penalized 10 minutes it's not a game misconduct at least not as it stands yeah. right now but that did happen while we were in the break before Peter chucked the puck with his good shoulder yeah, when I'm just watching for my sh- she didn't announce my, my number she, I don't think she did well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> there will be an investigation. <laughs> we will find out. Pot. We'll find out. I wanted my T-shirt. We will get Peter a T-shirt. <laughs> and I'm very serious about it. All right, all right. I'm so, very serious about the game, too. Two to one again after two periods of play. And Peter, in that second period, Carolina didn't have a ton of chances. And if it wasn't for Mario Cavallari, this might be a much different story than a one-goal hockey game. I mean, the Columbus they had a, they have a few few good chances, you know. But the only side, other side we had a, we had a few chances too. It's 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 was more likely in a power play, you know, which which we, we which we were we've been talking about it before the game, you know, the the special special teams, and a huge 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 shout out to to our. To our penalty killers, which five on you got a five on three, PK a five on three for, for a minute thirty five. Right, that was a very very huge moment in uh, for our for our boys and a big very big moment. So hopefully hopefully we can get uh, some momentum from there. You know, it's a two one game, which is by one goal, and uh, we got a twenty minutes left. Not often, if ever, does a five on three, especially one that long, get killed. 
but it's a credit to Mario and the guys in front of him. Schnapp, Firth, Peavy, Victor. Victor. Steve was there and uh, Bioni, I, don't know I think else. was in there as well just it was everybody huge. it's, it's a huge five on right. three you got a five on three p uh, power play penalty kill it's two one game so this was a huge moment of the game and usually it's the saying if you can score in a five on three power play you can win the game so we will see if this thing will be true tonight but it was definitely a huge moment of the period and a key for Carolina going forward would be trying to get, uh, get more of an attack going in their own end yeah definitely we, we will have to try you know now now you are two on down so you, you need to start getting more offensive you need to start getting to the net getting some shots you know make it a little bit tougher for uh, for uh, defensive players of the uh, river dragons and uh, you need to try to score a goal two to one after two periods of play between the river dragons and the carolina thunderbirds that's peter padachik i'm brett wiseman we'll be back with more on our intermission report as we take you around the fphl after this this is thunderbirds hockey like and subscribe yeah do that <laughs> Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Hi, the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, as we take a look around the FPHL scoreboard tonight, Motor City up four to two now on the Mississippi Seawolves are the Rockers. Brad Ryder with the latest marker coming just four minutes after Mississippi made it three to two on a goal from Jackson Bond. Brad Ryder making it four to two at 12.46 of the second. Shots 20 to 18 in favor of the homestanding Seawolves, but they trail four to two, 15 minutes into that second period. Oh, wow. And a big shocker coming from Port Huron. The Prowlers at home against the Binghams and Black Bears are putting up a crooked number, five to two. That's, that's a surprise. Two goals in just a matter of seconds. Actually, three in 
uh, just wow. a handful in a of time. Minute, in, a, in a minute, 28 seconds, they scored three goals. So at the end of the second, 18.45 to go in the second, Matt Graham from Dalton Jay and Frank Schumacher made it 3-2 to two Port Huron on the wow. power play. 49 seconds into the third, Dalton Jay from Matt Graham and Austin Federley made it 4-2. to two, A minute, 28, so... Just about 30 seconds later, Liam Freeborn from Evan Foley and Joseph Devity made it 5-2. to two. So three goals just like that. Shots 39-32 wow. in favor of Port Huron. That helps Carolina, though, when we look at the race for home ice if Binghamton loses in regulation. Also helping out the Another Watertown surprise. Wolves. Wow. Up 2-1 to one at home over the Danbury Hattricks. Another surprising score there. Danbury had the one to nothing lead as we try and scroll back here and find the goal. Fabian Leonard tied it up, 9.32 of the second on the power play. And then just two minutes later at 11.39, Matthias Telstrom for Don Carter Jr. and Parker Moskal made wow. it two to one to Watertown, despite being outshot right now, 34 to 22 by the Dan Mary Hattricks. Owen Lieskovitz doing all he can in goal right now. The former Binghamton Black Bear helping out Watertown against the former division rival Dan Barry. That's definitely a surprise and they just started the third period. And another big time score update, potentially of note, Elmira cut it to two to one recently, but Delaware up two to one. Eric Melso from Rocco D. Constanzo and Dimitri Daniluk at 5.31 in the second period, able to make it a two to one game for Delaware again, going for their first win in 28 games. That's a lot. And it could come tonight if things stay like they are after two periods of play. It's a lot of surprises today so far. Delaware being outshot 26-22, but leading by one at the end of two periods of play. We're at the end of two periods of play, and we'll tell you what's to come in the third period right after this. It's the Thunderbirds Hockey. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. At Novant Health, every day you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24 seven. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health, expect remarkable.
Inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, Peter Podachik alongside Brett Wiseman. Peter, what do you look for here in this third period? Looking for some hockey, Brett. Uh, wow, we, thanks. <laughs> we, are, we are one goal behind, so we, def we definitely need to start being a little more offensive. You know, there is no time to wait. But uh, we definitely need to put a little bit of pressure on, on the Columbus. You know, they got more shots and uh, it looks like they have a more position. So hopefully, hopefully we can, uh, we can uh, make it a little bit harder for them and uh, tie the game. Provide an attack, get one going. The chat and YouTube also wanted an update on your status if you're willing to provide it. Yeah, I would not be like specific, but I'm three weeks in and uh, it's type of the injury like in its time, you know, so I'm, 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 I'm trying to work. I'm doing my best to, to be back soon and uh, I feel like it will, it will take a couple weeks. You know, there is no reason to rush it, especially, especially the most important part of the season is the playoffs. So I should, I should be ready by that, but we, we go we got big, big by week and uh, yeah, that's, that's all I would say. You know, it will take some time. We can't wait till you're back in there on the ice, but you're doing a whale of a job up here in the booth. Me too, me too. I mean, I wish I would be on the ice, but I'm having, having so much fun here, so at least something from there. <laughs> Third period coming up right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volks. Inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, 10 seconds into our third period. Mario Cavallari makes a glove save right off the hop, Peter. Yep, first shot for Columbus. Jamaev wins the draw, moves it back. Frejo, that it should was out. be out. Yep, yep, it was out. And the whistle goes. And Schnapp and Greco are indeed in the box. As they will serve their 10 minute timeouts. Cavalier will play this off the back wall. Danny Martin trying to move this ahead. Near side, Keplinger. 
Off the wall for Ford. Dropped back for Kennedy. He'll backhand it all the way around looking for Keplinger. He'll move it to the center of the ice and Ford's able to move it for Butita. Dangles around a man. Here comes John Butita dropping it back for Keplinger who was tied up by Doe. Kennedy. And it's in! Oh, it's tipped in! I don't know how it went in, but it did! And this game is tied! And it's a John Butita. It John was a Butita's shot from the blue line. For the goal. He managed to tip it and it's inside of the net. Now it's now there is a discussion between the refs if it was a high stick or no. Immediately uh, Columbus was signaling for a high stick. Let's see what's the line is made like I don't know. The goal is standing in. Goal stands. Game tied. That's a huge. Well, both goals tonight for Carolina have been unconventional to say the least. Shots are 30 to 15, but it's a tie hockey game. That's all that matters. Brett, talk about the gal gal galvanizing moment. Galvanizing moment, <laughs> Peter. You said it. Shout out to VTOB to bring me yes, my w shirt. WTOD did bring us our t-shirts. That was, that was fast delivery. That was faster wow. than Amazon. Awesome. And we got a tight game. One minute into the third period, we got a brand new game. Rogers off the back wall. Butita on the deflection. Gets the goal in eighth of the season as this is centered out in front. King's pass was blocked. Watched by Firth. Salak moves it ahead. Pastuka at the red line for Salak. Trying to muscle that three. It's whacked out to the blue line. Picked up by Pastuka. Can't get it deep. Pastuka loses his stick as the puck's still free. Salak. The Yeomans work down low to keep this alive. Pastuka's shot was blocked. Fioni cannot quite work it free. As he and King are battling for it. Moved ahead now. Butita is able to tip it into the zone. Colgan drops it back for Petrantonio. Played ahead for Agel. Head for Wickline. Offside. And offside is the call. Pretty clear there as Aldworth tried to bring it in over. Well, that changes the complexion of things. Then changes everything, Brad. This goal changes everything. It changes how both teams play stylistically and, 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 and you know, psychologically here, right? Yeah, it's definitely like psychologically, like, uh, you know, those those little moments, they, they, they can put you down or they can put you up. All the worth working around, Pinkowski passes picked off by Gravenikov. Tied up in the corner. The five, six man scrum for it. Now work free, All the worth. And Kennedy come together. Kennedy put a glove up high. And Butita's pass. Knocked down by Peavy. Grabenikov looking for Peavy. Centered out in front. Pikowski shot was Locked. blocked. As he and Frejo come together. Look out here. So two guys that aren't afraid to drop them. And they'll be separated. Good look right there for Pinkowski. First really good scoring chance he's had, and now this is third game as a Thunderbird. That was, that was a big chance, you know, in this in this position. It's always too dangerous to put, put the puck in the net. Luckily for the Columbus, it got blocked. 17-26 remaining here in regulation. Keplinger tied up on the draw, worked out by LaBelle. Jemayev able to shoulder off Martin and win the foot race. Cavalieri backhands this around, Firth centers it for Keplinger, moved ahead to Salak. Salak down the far side away and gets into the zone. Held up by Underwood, who lost his stick. 
It's just so hard to take the puck from the Salak. He always uses like his body and he's so good in uh, covering the puck and position. Finelli in the Columbus zone, drops it back off Jamea. Good stick. Poke checked by Keplinger. The collision back of the play between Salak and Underwood. Moved ahead now for Jemayev. He whacks it into the zone. 16.40 to go. Now into the neutral zone. Storjahan dangles around a couple. Moves into the zone. Shoots high. Oh, he hit a crossbar back. Couldn't quite tell if maybe he got the crossbar of Cavalier. He hit a crossbar. Wow. It's a second crossbar. Second crossbar for Storjahan alone in this one. As it just grazed it. Face off one briefly by Carolina. Oh. Frejo through traffic, tipped by King. Centering pass over Storjahan, but picked up by Kelly. Looking for a tip for Storjahan. That hit King in the boot. He's shouldered by Kennedy. Out top, Rogers. Dangles around Pringle. Throws it down low. Kennedy got a stick to that. Banks it off the wall, looking for Bioni. Kelly lost the handle. PV, or excuse me, Butita and Pringle bring this out. Pringle shoots it back with the goal in deep. Picked off though by King and moved up and out. Sorjahan trying to move it over for Kelly. That was broken up by Kennedy. Now shot on goal from the oh. short side. That one stopped by Cavallari. Rogers let that one go. Fifteen forty-six to go here in regulation. Draw one by Carolina. Kennedy's clearance nice attempt is now moved out by Pasuka. Ford down the near side, far side. Shoot, save, oh. made, rebound. Bioni missed just high. Somebody got a piece of it in front. Kennedy, back door, Ford. Wide open net, he couldn't get a stick to it. Held in by Bioni though. Loose puck, Bioni's back on it. Through traffic, looking for a tip for Salak, too far. LaBelle, moved ahead for Krupp, he'll get it out. As far as center. Pastuka's in a battle for it. Salak works it free. Salak around Krupp. Jan maneuvers around. Back of the goal. Still going to puck. Keeps it alive. Still on the puck. Putita. One timer stopped by Colgan. Well, Jan Salak made that scoring chance pretty much single-handedly right there, Peter. I mean, when, when he's got a puck, he's just, he's just really good in it. I, I was talking about it before. He's, he's so good in covering the puck and he's he know how to use his body. So it's so hard to, to take the puck from him and it makes uh, a lot of space for the other guys and for him to make a play. Pringle to take the draw, he wins it. But it's taken now by Columbus. Frejo moves it ahead. Fidelli tipped in by Doe. Back of the goal, Cavallari. For Keplinger, moved up and out by Pringle. Now ahead for Butita with numbers. Butita trying to drop that back for Grabenikov. But it's picked off by Jemayev and moved ahead for Doe. Doe dangles around Grabenikov who makes a nice defensive play to work that one free. Here's Keplinger with speed through the neutral zone. It's an inadvertent screen from Butita. Keplinger, far side wall, bodied up by Frejo. Three-man scrum for it, make it four. Pringle poked it free, but it comes over to Vanelli. 14-14 to go. Stretch pass ahead for King. King around Martin, has it poked wide. Martin levels King as this one's poked out of the zone. LaBelle is back at his own end for this with 14 minutes to go in regulation. LaBelle trying to set up back of his own goal. Moves it ahead, here's Kelly. Down the far side, slams on the brakes, throws it back out top, but too far for LaBelle. Brendan Colgan out of his crease to play it. Rogers out to center, Firth crouching to take that pass away. Pinkowski works it ahead for Ford, over for Kennedy. Kennedy across the line, Kennedy with speed. 
Backhander in front. Colgan got the stop. Boy, sneaky little play right there by Joe Kennedy with 13.25 to go in regulation. And we have a timeout. 2-2 between Columbus and Carolina. Buckle up. We got a good finish coming your way. We're back in 30 seconds. Use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Inside the Winston Sale of Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. As the crowd comes alive. Shots are 32 19 in favor of Columbus, Peter. But that goal from Butita on the deflection has changed the entire complexion of this hockey game. Oh, 100%. And 100%. It's, this was the, the momentum we've been talking about, you know, like, it's very important for us that we score a, score a goal very early in a period, and like, basically in one minute. And it kind of, like, put some blood in our, in our veins. So, definitely, definitely a big moment, and that's why you put the pucks on the net, you know? Violation on the draw. And we'll redo it. Ford to take it. Trying to win that back, but it comes free to LaBelle. LaBelle out into the neutral zone. He'll shoot it in deep, 13-15 to go here in regulation. Cavallari carefully plays it back of his own goal. Firth trying to move that one out, hit by Wickline. Salak muscled it free ahead for Pastuka. Pastuka. Offside. And Ford was offside as... I think Ford might have thought he was getting that pass. A little bit of a mix up there at the blue line as there were numbers developing, but. Thirteen oh five to go here in regulation. Drops back, LaBelle moves this ahead. Dumps it into the zone, Cavallari. Plays it around with his goal stick. Kennedy can't get it out. Pastuka pokes it into the neutral zone. Rogers for LaBelle. Moved ahead. All the worth looking for Wick line. That was poked loose. Salak dangles around one. Here comes Big Jan Salak. Down below the goal line. Salak pivots around a defender. That's all the worth. Has it worked free, but he's able to keep it alive. Ford on the backhand protecting the puck. Out top, Kennedy. It's looking Ooh. for a tip just high. Salak did get a tip on it. Went just over the crossbar. Held in by Ford. Here's Gus Ford. Shoot, stick save. Colgan. Kennedy back on it. Down below the goal line, Ford. In front, Salak looking for a tip. It's loose. It oh, Pasuka, Colgan made a diving glove save. Oh, my goodness. Tucker Firth put his hands over his head, and I, I did too. I think it was a uh, Pesti. It was a uh, Pestuka there. Pestuka had the shot, but <laughs> Firth back of the play. I swear to you, he and I put our hands over our heads at the same time. Wow. By the way, we're getting there, Brett. Now we, we're starting having uh, more chances, and uh, you know, we are playing more with the puck, which is completely different than the first For two some periods. reason, the face-off's in the neutral zone, which it shouldn't be. Why is the face-off in the neutral zone? No, 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 no. Yeah, blow that dead. No, they were running for a goalie now. Face-off should be in the offensive zone, should it not? I'm... Befuddled to say the least, under 12 minutes to go. Jamea out at center. And a rugby scrum for it. Out at the red line, right in front of the PA box. As it's jammed up. Still not work free, and now Petrantonio will do so. 
Pringle. Back for Bioni, ahead for Keplinger, touches it into the zone. Petra Antonio hops back on it, moves it ahead. Shemayev tips it off the wall. Bioni leveled from behind by Doe. He's able to get it to Gravenikov, who moves it out into the neutral zone. Frajel. And for Shemayev, he'll get it in deep. Shemayev. And now Cavalieri back of the goal will play it. Bioni carefully on his backhand for Keplinger, who would ship this behind his own net for Bioni. Bioni drops it off for Butita, who dangles around and moves it ahead. Gets to the red line. John Butita dangles around Sorjahan. Butita shoots it on goal. Sorjahan made the shot. Stop. Loose puck in front. Pinballing around. Martin tried to kick it to keep oh, it free. Now. Moved ahead. And now numbers for Offside. Columbus. Offside. Offside is the call. Kelly moved it in with King. Unable to touch back up. 43 seconds until Schnapp and Greco are free from their sentences. It's 10.43 to go here in regulation. Shots 32-21. Kennedy in his own end. Banks it up. Off the wall, Pastuka could not get a clean handle on it. Brought back in by Kelly. Kelly trying to dangle around. Salak shoots it wide. Martin shoulders him. Kelly's still on it. Far side. Drops it off for King. Back across for Vanelli. Too far for him. And out of the zone it comes with 10.20 to go in regulation. Moved ahead for Storjahan. Works his way around Ford. And now Salak drops it back for King. Who fans on the shot. Gus Ford. Plays it ahead for Salak. With Martin in the center of the ice. Salak. Maneuvers it around Vanelli. Back of the goal, Martin. Trying to play it around Storjahan. Martin works it free. Looking for a lane. Drops it off for the nearby Pastuka. And it's worked loose to the near side. And Lane King will delay and allow Columbus to change. Carolina will do so as well. The first whistle, I believe, is when Greco and Schnapp will be let out of the box here. Aldworth for Wickline. Moves it hey. in on goal, and there's a poke there from Aldworth, who takes a shove from Keplinger. Look out. Keplinger takes Aldworth straight down to the ice. Keplinger protecting his goaltender. You just cannot slash a goalie. You're not going to get away with it. Credit to Josh, Josh Kepling. Josh Keplinger uh, stepped right in sending, there. And uh, sending a message. Through some haymakers. And then both guys will go. We'll take a timeout. 9.27 to go in regulation. Still tied. 2 2. We're back in 30 seconds. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. Xanax, that's Peter Panacic. I'm Brett Wiseman. Josh Keplinger coming to the aid and protection of his goaltender after the slash from Thomas Aldworth. And it appears that both guys are going to go off on Vancey Miners here. Let's see, let's see what are the penalties going to be. It looks like it's a, it's going to be power play for uh, the birds. Yeah, yeah. Number 19's got a two minutes for a slashing. Yep, all the work yep. has the two for Slashy. Keplinger's in the box as well. Yeah, I think they're going to get a... The, 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 both of the, them's going to get a major for fighting or roughing, whatever referee's going to decide. We might and get matching minors. All the work might get there an will extra be one, two. Yeah, extra two for a Slashing. Yeah, major five minutes fighting. fighting. So it's going to be two minutes power play for a bird. The five for fighting for both, but all the work gets the two for the Slash. 
which can be huge. You get a nine minutes twenty seven sec uh, seconds left. And one it of the better penalty killers for the River Dragons, Jay Krupp, will serve it. I don't feel like Jay plays penalty kill, Brett. Like I, I play field with him for a while, but I feel like he's more like a power play guy than a penalty kill guy. Pastuka wins the draw. Gus Ford down the near far side. Watch out it. for a puck. And it deflects up and out of play. Not sure where that one went. Nine fifteen to go here in regulation. Held in by Ford. Pastuka brought back for Ford now for Firth. Firth back cross point Ford through traffic, tipped in front. PV on the rebound. That one tipped on goal just wide. Firth unable to hold it in, and it comes all the way down with the first thirty seconds gone on this power play. Perth had his drop pass tipped, but Ford is back on it. Through the neutral zone, Ford will wire this around. PV will hop on it near side. Perth for Pastuka, for Schnapp, drops off for PV. Now back for Perth, skate to stick. Pastuka leaves it for Ford. Out top Perth for PV. Under a minute to go on this power play. Perth one time. And it's in! For the lead! Three to two with 8.21 to go in regulation! Oh, baby! Oh, Peter! What a shot! Just a laser from the point! That was labeled! To go right under the bar to the stick side. That was just a perfect shot. Tucker Firth with a gorgeous one timer to give Carolina a 3 2 lead. Absolutely. I would just add, I would, I would, I would just say thank you to the River Dragon player for an absolutely undisciplined slashing penalty, which lead to our goal. Salak picks this off at center, played ahead for Pringle. Carolina trying to add on. Pringle tried to maneuver it in front, poked wide. This crowd is loving it. Putina tried to work it free. Salak shoot it. muscles the puck free. Got a shot away. Backhander on goal. Loose in front. Hack and whack time. And now cleared down the ice. This might go for icing. And it will. Brett, talk about like how fast things can change. You know, started with a quick goal in the second period, which gave us momentum. And then we become a better team. And now this place is absolutely electric. And you can see uh, the difference in, uh, in uh, energy in, uh, in, uh, in uh, both teams. You know, you can see the th uh, Thunderbirds being on a, absolutely on a horse now. And the River Dragons b being a little bit down now. Laser AI, yeah, you can see it in the body language for sure. You know? Salak so on the loose puck. Martin, a one-timer from the point. That hit Pringle in front. He and Frejo battle for this. Fre Pringle around Frejo. Hit by Vanelli. Pringle able to keep it alive for the moment. Holds it in on the wall. Tipped up and out of the zone. Kennedy. Nice play by Joe. Bank this off the wall ever so carefully for Pringle back into the zone. Now stretched down, played by Martin. Carolina's in the midst of a change. Salak hops on the loose puck. Loses his stick, but gets it in deep. Ford on the loose puck for Salak. Trying to pivot and get a shot away. Forced out of the middle. Salak trying to shoot that one. Deflected to the cross side. Ford on the loose puck. Throws it all the way around the wall. Salak will chase after this. King for Rogers. Taken away by Salak. Taken now by Ford. Pastuka high slot. Missed just wide. Stick side. King for Kelly. Picked off by Schnapp. Here comes Schnapp. Drop for Ford. Back and it's in. Ford. Got Ford. Four to two. Carolina. Just 
like that. Gus Ford's 31st of the season has extended the Carolina lead to two with six and a half to go. Amazing, absolutely amazing. But this is it, Brett. Let's take us back in a little, little bit back in the time when the Columbus had a power play five on three. And we were saying, if you can score in a, this power play, bring it to one, it can cost you a little bit later in the game. And that's what's happening now. Schnapp's able to work it in deep. You said it. That was a turning point. Here's first out top through traffic. Schnapp tipped that one on goal. Jamea trying to move this ahead. Carolina is swarming right now. Pastuka gets it in deep. Rogers around for Petrantonio. Jamayev settles it down, plays it back for Petrantonio. Head for Doe. Now back for Petrantonio. Storjahan through traffic, shot it wide. Butita and it's whacks outside. it out. That's what we need. Shots out 33 27. Rogers one on four, works his way in down below the goal line on the backhand centers it for Storjahan delays who throws it out top for Greco Greco through traffic Oop. tips uh, like a couple there and it goes wide Rogers through traffic save made Cavalieri nice save by Covey Greco it's loose Storjahan moves go, it go, out go, go, and go, now go, Carolina's go. got numbers Butita racing up the ice Butita Pringle couldn't get a handle on it Works it free, though, and is able to dump it back in. Five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. Now you just don't want to give up a place. You just want to control the, the position. Yeah, that's that, not for that's too far for Now four. with the five minutes left, hey, we've got a timeout. 4.54 to go here in regulation. Icing call on Carolina, so the faceoff will come back into the Thunderbirds defensive zone. 4-2 to is our score. The Thunderbirds are buzzing right now, trying to cling to this two-goal lead. We come down the stretch in Winston-Salem right after this. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, that's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman, Jose and Gina Bahina, along with Logan Allen, Colby Cook, Haley Foster, and Jarek Bryant on our technical social media and in and out of house production tonight. And Rick O'Neill, the radio guy in our WTOB studio. Absolutely astan astonishing period for, for the guys in the black jerseys. Galvanizing. Absolutely, absolutely astonishing. Amazing period for now. We got a five minutes left. Now you want to control the puck. You don't want to give up to to. Right, you uh, want to find that happy medium. Not you just want to kill the, the time. You want to you want to you want to stay in a position with the puck. The best possible scenario to, to play in a offensive zone. Just stay on the puck. Don't don't want to give up any like chances for the dragons and just finish the game. Kennedy moves it out, gets it in deep, chases after it, speeds after Greco. Salak pivots around a hit on the backhand. Keeps this alive once again, works it into the high slot. Outside of the dots, Salak moves back of the goal. Watched by LaBelle, still now watched from behind by Greco. Salak is still on this. And he just killed like 30 seconds from the clock, just like that, Brett. 420 to go. Ford picks it off from behind for Krupp. Pastuka moves it ahead for Ford. Ford shoots for the cross side. Oh. Save was made. Salak shot it at the rebound. Here's Pastuka. Back for Ford. Delaying. 
Pastuka drops it back for Martin. Now for Kennedy. All the way back over for Ford. This is exactly what we need. Staying on a puck in Kennedy offensive zone. Kennedy wires one. That one got on goal. May have been blocked partially by Greco. Kennedy battling for it with Greco. Here's Salak. Carolina controlling possession. That's perfect. This is absolutely perfect. And they just, they just don't know how to take the puck from him. Seems to be frustrating a few of the guys in the white, black, and teal sweaters. Gill moves it ahead for Wickline, That's finally. It. And they after just after about 90, 90 seconds got off the clock right there. Puccino whacks it out. Frejo at the red line. Gets it in deep. Go chasing after this. Poked free by Martin. Jamea. Bank pass picked off by Martin. Hit from behind by Doe, but moved out by Martin. Will this go it far enough for icing? Nope. The answer is no, it hit the boards first. Perfect done by Denny. Played up now by Frejo for Vanelli. Gets it into the no. zone. Air jets in front oh. Doe. Pump check, Cavallari. Under three to go. Frejo for Underwood. Through traffic. Oh, that hit first up high. Oh no, it was a right to his face. And he's got the guard on too. Even then. Tucker first skating immediately to the bench. You remember last week, that's why he's wearing the face shield. Had to get a number of stitches after a fall into the boards last weekend. He took another puck to the face last weekend as well. And have some dental work done too as training staff looks at him. Let's just hope he's going to be okay. That's all we can hope for. 2.45 to go. Whacked up and out. This will go on goal, so no icing. Colgan plays this over for Rogers. Two and a half left. Doing great job defensive, defensively now. King moved ahead for Kelly. Into the zone, Cavallari will play it safe and cover this with 2.27 to go. But now all we need to do is just get out, get pucks out from the zone. You know, you want to get it over the blue line and that's all you need. Now it's the Columbus turn to score a goal. They need to get into the zone. So for us, when you don't need to score a goal, you just need to get it out just from the zone. And that's, that's all you need to do now. Keplinger and Aldworth are free from their fighting sentences. Rogers. Back of the goal for King. Pinned by Kennedy. Move down in front, Kelly. Pinballed it on goal, and Cavallari diving out to make that cover. 2.15 to go. Shots now 35-28. In favor of Columbus, and I believe they just took their time out. That is a timeout for Columbus. So what's the discussion right now on the Carolina bench, Peter? Just keep it simple, you know. We don't need to score a goal. They're probably going to pull up a goalie, I think. So the key now, you want to blue line, you want to get it over the blue line, stay in a position. You don't have to score. You basically just need to be smart. Don't let them you know, uh, get into the, some of the great opportunity and get back of the, over the blue line. Sounds simple, but it might be hard, but that's, that's all we need, you know. They need to score two, Brett. They need to score two, which in this time limit can be very hard. So if you will stay disciplined, you should take all three points. And this is why when you're down two, this is why you have to pull the goalie uh, with about two and a half to go. That's usually the sweet spot for a two goal deficit, two and a half, three minutes. So I mean, I mean, Columbus, they, they got nothing to weigh. It doesn't matter if you lose 4-2, right. 5-2, or 10-2, you know. So, but the goalie is staying in the net, so they're probably going to wait to win a face-off and then pull up the goalie, which it looks like will happen. That would be the smart play. 2.15 to go. <laughs> so we got a Blake Peavy, absolutely the best. He'll take the draw. The draw. Opposite Storjahan. PB cannot win it. Storjahan does off the tie up. Great Storjahan job by Snake. 
Leveled by BB right there into the board. Salah. And the goalie is out of the zone. Colgan is out. Empty so we net. got a six on five, but Salah's got a puck. Salah controlling possession. Great Gets job. It out. Great job. Under and it's two not minutes to go. It will be the icing. Yeah. But that's okay with 155 to go. You're more than okay with that kind of play. Oh yeah, right he killed kill another 10 seconds just like that. You know, holding on a puck, using his body. That's basically all you need to do now. Just killing the time. Killing the, killing the time. Thirty-five, twenty-eight of the shot. PB wins the draw. One at two cleanly. Cavalieri got the cover before the whistle. It was a little bit unfortunate for us because then he had the puck on a on a stick. But we will take the another draw by all the means. Minute 52 to go. So another big face off here. Another big draw coming. PB and Storjahan. Nice. PB wins it. Martin leveled back at the goal. Storjahan looking for Kelly. And Rogers just barely able to hold that in. The flight to the goal. Cavallari got it. Oh my goodness. Mario, marvelous. That was a great stop by Mario. There were like two dragons right there, so. If you want to stop it, they would probably have a rebound. And Peter, that puck looked like it changed direction on its way towards the net. Somebody looked like they might have gotten a piece of that. That definitely might happen. Minute 43 to go. PB wins another and draw. Another one. Tucker Firth is back out there. That's great to see. He's pinned up on the boards. He's just killing the time. He's doing a great job now. Muscle free by P. Oh no. Back not, not through the middle. Kelly. Glove save, Cavallari. Oh my goodness. Marvelous. Mario with another spectacular stop. Boy, is he standing on his head in this one. All right, minute 28. 88 seconds left. All we need to get it out of the zone. Petrantonio. Nice poach check by Schnapp. LaBelle works it around the wall. And that's King that's got it. Looking for Storjahan. Firth is pinned Great up. Great job by Firth. He's sent out of 10 seconds just right there. Holding the puck. 70 seconds remain in regulation. Aldworth moves it out top. Petrantonio slap shot wide. Storjahan. Hops on it, cross crease. King couldn't get the shot away. Tied up. King works it free. A minute to go. Good job by Schnapp by the stick. Petrantonio for Kelly. Pokes back. Petrantonio fakes it through the legs of Rogers. Worked low by Storjahan. Get a 45 seconds. Keplinger's on it. He'll nice. shoot it the length of the ice and clear it wide of the empty net. And we'll get an icing we'll ball. We'll take with it. We'll take 39 it. 39 seconds to go. This would be one of the, Peter, I think this would be one of the best wins of the year for Carolina. Definitely one of the biggest. Kepler here will take this draw. Kepler here wins it. Yep. Shoots towards the empty net and just wide. But he took away another five. Seven seconds. That's all you need, Brett. Thirty-one point six remaining in regulation, <laughs> and a two-goal lead for the Thunderbirds. Thirty-three seconds on the Great board. Great draw now. by Josh Kennedy. Tied up with Wick line, yep. Firth in there as well. Worked out nice. by Pringle, out to center, 20 seconds left. Finelli. And that's it, Brett. Flecken, Keplinger, towards the empty net, just wide. Pringle hops on it. He'll shoot for it, it's blocked. It's 10, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, that should just about do it. Go. 
on the backhand. Moves it out. Four, three, three two, two, one. Game and over. That's and it. one more save for Cavallari at the horn. Go crazy, folks. Go crazy. What it's a comeback. It's a winner. Wow. What a third period by our guys. Absolutely amazing. What a team effort from all the guys in the blade jerseys. You said it right there. That's a total team effort if I've ever seen one, Peter. Exactly. But let's 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 go back. You know, power play five on three. The five what on I, what three. I was saying, if you can score five on three power play minute thirty, you don't deserve to win a game. And he, he, here we are. That was the turning point. I that was the turning sure. point of the game. You know, absolutely great penalty kill by by our guys and. Uh, you know, you're going to the third period, you score a goal, and the momentum definitely changes immediately. And uh, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing uh, team effort by uh, our guys in the third period, and uh, well deserved win. And definitely, definitely huge, huge momentum to come into tomorrow's game. Big time momentum to carry into tomorrow night. A massive win for Carolina as Justin Pringle will lead the line. And Sweet Carolina will ring through the annex. Well, Brad, it was fun to be here with you. And I will see you tomorrow. We will see you Peter. tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I will be here at 8 o'clock. Carolina wins it 4-2. We're back to wrap things up after this. This is Son of Earth Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Thunderbirds victorious 4-2 as we await the announcement of the three stars. Victor Grabenikov, third star of the game, first goal of the season, well deserved for the soon to be father. Jacob Schnapp, second star. Wait a minute, maybe not. Yeah, there he goes. Jacob Schnapp is the second star. <laughs> Double back to Lucas Rowe for something. Well, Schnapp got a lot on that t-shirt toss. And now our first star of the night is, drum roll, who else? 37 saves on 39 shots. Marvelous, Mario Cavallari. Cavalieri more than deserving for the first star of the night. 
Well, we take one final break here on our post-game show. Come back and wrap things up after this. It's the Thunderbirds Hockey. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four-motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Fairgrounds Annex, as we wrap things up on our postgame show, Carolina victorious 4-2 to two over the Columbus River Dragons tonight. The third victory in the five meetings between the teams so far this season. Meeting number six set to come tomorrow night. Reminder, our normal 6.05 Saturday airtime or 6.05 Saturday puck drop which will be our normal 5.35 Saturday airtime, pushed back uh, just a little bit due to a myriad of different things going on in and around the city of Winston-Salem and around the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. So we push things back to an 8.05 puck drop, prime time here in the Twin City. 7.35 airtime is what that means, and we'll drop the puck on the sixth meeting of the season between Carolina and Columbus at 8.05. For Peter Podachik on color commentary, Rick O'Neill, the radio guy, holding things down in our WTOB studios, and the fantastic technical crew consisting of, but not limited to, Haley Foster, Logan Allen, Jarek Bryant, Jose and Gina Bahina, and the congratulations to Colby Cook, who did a masterful job on his first night operating our camera on Thunderbirds TV. For all of them and all of you, we'll see you right back here tomorrow night for the rematch between the Thunderbirds and the River Dragons. One final time, the final. Carolina 4, Columbus 2. We will see you tomorrow night.